Gifts. <laughs> Presents. Gifts. Pay it forward. Gifts. Give us what's owed. Gifts. We deserve it. June. More gifts. Juneteenth. More gifts. You know the Juneteenth vibes. Set the tone, fellas. Did you listen to that? We're gonna get to new music, but I have to ask: Did you listen to that album? Yeah. You know, Maul had it first. I don't want Kanye West to ever go near Tiana Taylor again. <laughs> Leave her alone. Yes. I think he did a couple of. Leave. All right, we'll let her do most of it. No, no, we are not. This parks. This parks. Mic check one two one ten. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Back. Yeah, they nah. missed it. Yo, let me back. tell y'all something. When I get home in, in my cry bag alone, whoa, who think I'm not gonna cry to this? No, you are gonna cry. To I think you did already. Come, come on, we know. Nah, no, I've been people around. Yeah. I've been playing it tough. Like, yo, you heard that, Tiana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to get alone and cry. Yo, Tiana yeah. shit flames, yeah, right? That yo, you heard uptown it. shit, right? Yo, she took it there for that. <laughs> took it there. <laughs> Nigga home crying yeah, like a baby. I can't wait to get this CD alone. <laughs> <laughs> this CD. <laughs> Yo, Yo. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, I can't wait to get this CD I tell alone. You, I've said that to all of them and they still left. Yeah. We don't have to lose each other. You live around no. the corner. Right. <laughs> We can keep I can walk to your fucking house. We can coexist. And then you move to another house around the corner. Right. We can coexist <laughs> like you in other ain't ways. Try, you're not trying to forget about me. You're not. No. You live right there still. We go to the same gas station. Right. Yeah. Now you awkward as hell trying to duck in the car. I see you filling up. <laughs> <laughs> I see you filling up. Yeah. <laughs> In Jersey. Yeah, you and Duke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Look at man. this bum ass nigga filling the tank up. <laughs> in Jersey. In Jersey. <laughs> when yeah. they yeah. pump your gas. Yeah, because he ain't from here. You, yeah, he you, know, you know, after y'all break up, she's yeah. trying to get a nigga from fucking Canada. Yeah. Or, <laughs> Connecticut. Or what's, what's the London rapper that's running through all the Dykeman girls? What's his name? I, I do not know, Joe. Me either. Yeah, I'm not going to switch. <laughs> I have no idea hey. what you're talking about. I would love to know. Hey, you up to bitches ain't slick. <laughs> Just know that. Women. Take that. Yeah. yeah. Patriarcher. <laughs> if that's a word. Yo, microphone check one. I see what the time is today, by the way. Yeah. I'm just letting yeah, y'all know. Oh, no. I, I see what's I'm going make sure on. It's one of those. Right. It's one of those. Microphone check one, two. What is this? Welcome to episode... Three, don't say three. Hundred. Just say three. Yeah. Yo, 355 when you leave Long Island. Don't say 300. Uh, episode 355 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your Yo, humble. Savon, you should quit, man. I, I, you don't take this anymore. Fuck him and his button up that's open. Don't talk to me that way when you have a shot A shirt on. First of all, Savon would never quit because he is the person that sees all of the 500 people waiting for him to quit. <laughs> like, we don't even see those people. Just in Long Island. Hey, y'all talk like, to Hey, y'all sending your resume to the dude. He ain't never sending it to Savon. Yeah. <laughs> Send your resume to Savon. Whoa. Yo, and just leave your Savon hate out of it. That's where some yeah. of y'all go wrong. Somebody got a whole college degree in <laughs> podcast interning, and we've never seen it. Yeah, because yeah, Savon won't show it to us. Yeah. He just keep bringing in all his little need to know people. <laughs> nah, he's smart. Smart man. Yeah, I bet. And he got, he got them under contract too. Right. They signed to him. Mm. How you got a production a deal? He got a production deal with the JBP. I never even thought about that, Roars. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you kick this. I yell. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Yo, this shit just this shit just makes any convo sound better. Rory. <laughs> this shit makes any convo sound better. Uh welcome to episode 355 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly or lowly favorite host, depending on how you were introduced to me, Joe Button. <laughs> here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Maul is here. Brother Parks is here. Brother Rory is here. Juneteenth. Yes. Hold up, man. Juneteenth. We here. Right. Happy Juneteenth. No, 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 Happy no, no, Juneteenth. no, no, no. Shh. Make them say it. Okay. Yeah, Happy right. Juneteenth, guys. Happy Juneteenth. Y'all ain't bring who us else, no gifts? Who else white up in here? Y'all ain't oh. bring us no gifts? Uh, Rem, you kind of white by a few Donations. <laughs> Donation. <laughs> I can hit him. I can hit him. Yeah, today you can get it off. I can reach. Today you can yeah, legally yeah, punch yeah, me in the yeah, face. Yeah, today you get it off. That's the rule, I think. Uh, yeah. uh, Parks is here. Brother Rory is here. Brother Erickson is here. s Dog is here. Alex is here. Rim is here. Uh, how is everybody doing? How you feeling? How's your mental health? What's happening? What's new in your life? What are you thinking? What are you planning? What are you going through? Give it to me. That's Good. A lot. 
What am I thinking? What am I planning? What am I going through? Ah, 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 ah. Tell us. <laughs> Yo, I tried to mix this record the other day. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stems just took a long time. Yeah, sometimes it takes a long I was time. Sitting, sitting by the board. He <laughs> texted me yeah. that they were coming, but hours later, the Stems. Came, I, just, I couldn't get the keys right. <laughs> yeah, man. The, the trumpet just wasn't in pocket. Oh, my God. Hey, when it wasn't that, quantized, right? Hey, trumpet wasn't quantized. quantized. <laughs> <laughs> there was something about the quantization on this specific record. <laughs> Should have used 16th note. He used 8th. <laughs> uh, what's and up? Don't even talk to me about when I tried to bounce the file. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at us getting don't geeky. Give me a dither bag. Look at us trying to get back to our backpack room. Word, how, how this podcast started. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the show. Come on, I asked, asked y'all 90. Uh, mi- <laughs> I asked y'all 90 million questions. Come on, give it to me. What's happening? Uh, I it's keep only up. been two days. Nothing much just happened. Yeah, about the same. <laughs> it's only two days. It's only 48 hours since I've seen you, gentlemen. Let's get to the shits, man. Yeah. Fuck how y'all feeling. Yeah, let's get to the patriarchy. All right, fuck it. Y'all know who the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibrations. Uh, yeah. Everybody is good. Uh, the weather is good. The weather's really good. Happy Father's Day. Oh, yeah, happy Father's Day. Yeah, Cel- celebrate that's Father's this, this weekend. That's important. It's very important. It's not Mother's Day. No. It's not Single Mother's Day. It's Father's Day this weekend. Yes. Shouts to all the fathers. The fathers. They're still trying to skip over it out there. It's Saturday. I ain't heard a peep. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. Got to stand up for the su- Father's Day suppression. Mm-mm. Well, I imagine, Joe, you have two celebrations waiting for you, right? Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Big surprise parties. Of course, yeah. Big, you didn't want to ruin it. Big surprise parties. <laughs> Everybody's doing a great job of keeping it keeping it sealed. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it under wraps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nothing has leaked to me. <laughs> <laughs> not a not, text. Not even a high. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing at all. I told you, I, I sent I sent, uh, I sent, sent a nice little picture of me and Lex, huh? Yeah. This young Silver took. Yeah. She go right back to him. Oh, uh, our baby is beautiful. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm in the photo too. Oh, nah, not dad, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, dad ain't beautiful. <laughs> right, I ain't been shit. <laughs> that's, that's when you sent it just a selfie with just top of Lex's head, but it's your face. Nah, that's when I just see leave a voice note. <laughs> Listen, with that plan, <laughs> I know, I know we ain't been seeing eye to eye. Mm, come on now, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been Yo. seeing eye. How many R and B singers never no, saw no. eye to eye with their chicks? Every one of them. Hey, somebody said. Father's Day is coming. Get ready for the yo, happy Father's Day. I know we ain't been seeing eye to eye, but <laughs> it's coming. Oh, you know that's coming. It's definitely coming. He treated me like shit, but he's a great father. But you always come through for <laughs> yeah, Devin. Yeah, yeah. For Devin. <laughs> Devin. I picked a bad boyfriend, but a great father. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Shut up. No, nah, yo, that really takes them off when you're the best dad in the world yeah. after you get away from their ass. Horrible. Oh, you father. can commit to something. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, relax. Whoa, what? <laughs> All right. Rory don't even have kids. He's fine. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm trying to support the fathers out there. Rory There's a lot of great fathers out there. I want to support them. Well, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Absolutely. Happy Father's Day to me. Come yeah. on. Happy Father's Day, Joe. Come yes. on, I'll do it. Happy Father's Day to the moms. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's that crew, too. That's what I'm seeing. Absolutely there's that crew. I, I hate that crew. It's absolutely a crew that exists like that. I've been a mom and a dad. No, you've just been a great mom. <laughs> I'm about to ask a real stupid question, but it's Saturday, so I don't care. Get it off. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> How you know your dad ran away? <laughs> it's a big fact. How do you know that? Like you was a kid. Yeah, you don't. You don't know shit. Yeah. How did you catch a car? You know the whole story, yeah. yo. <laughs> the dad went to the store one day. Like, how do you know this? I yeah. want to know. Then you get older. Are we just taking mom's account for things? Yeah, that's what you do when you're younger. But once yeah. you get older, you reach a certain age, you start putting shit together. You're like, mom, that, you're like, that don't. Nah. I just can't see. I'm a man now. I just don't see that going that way. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, hey, he, he hey, had some good points. Hey, <laughs> hey, my dad's saying the same shit that Lewis is in here saying now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they kind of got a similar viewpoints, and they ain't never met. <laughs> they a whole thirty years separate. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, my kids starting to act like me at that age. Yo, when are y'all gonna have kids? I saw a tweet from Maul. They dug up one of your old tweets again. Which one? 
that says if you don't have kids by the time you're 45, then either you're something I can't say or... I don't think it was 45. I think it was past the age of all I think it was 30 or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I, think, yeah, I think it was like 29. <laughs> yeah, you were like, some, some, something's wrong with your plumbing. <laughs> and don't call it. Don't do that. But don't do that You're plumbing. You're plumbing. No, no, you no. can't do that. plumbing. <laughs> No, I'm no. saying we keep saying no, and you keep going back to it. Right, you gotta trust your friends sometimes. You're right, you're not. Right. I'm learning. I'm learning to no do that. One, I'm learning to trust my friends. You're <laughs> you're, the fuck type of freaky <laughs> shit is he on? My pipes is clogged. Oh, it, might, it might be. It might be a little Drano like clear. Yeah, yeah. Drano and hot water. Yeah, exercise. It's a hairball caught in there. Exercise. A hairball. It's a hairball caught in there. <laughs> Too many chicks been showering by me. <laughs> it's a hairball caught in there. Yeah. Oh, all right. Come on. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Let's get to the serious stuff. Oh, oops. I fucked up. There we go. Bomb. I'm not going to let you guys make this fun. Go ahead, man. <laughs> hey. Gifts, <laughs> presents, <laughs> pay it forward. Yes. You owe us. Yes. We deserve mm. presents. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, two, 25 minutes in. We ain't said shit. Uh, <laughs> it's great. We setting the vibe. Setting the table. All right. We got to get right into it. In corner number one. Mm, patriarchy. You've seen him in North Carolina. Mm. You've seen him. Is well, the All-Star game Duncan? You've seen him dunking in the All-Star game, <laughs> being friends with Dennis Smith Jr. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, nasty. It's true. It's true. You've seen him at St. John's, yeah. but not in the library. <laughs> hey, Drake's athlete friends are way better than Cole's. <laughs> he had a better team. <laughs> Cole keep running around with. All right, but anyway. And I fuck with Dennis Smith Jr. Let me not do that. I just want him off my team. Well, that's do, not even my team no more. Do you fuck with Cole, though? Racist Fox. Huh? Do you fuck with Cole, though? Yes, I fuck with Cole. In corner number two, I mean, let me do this, because I don't want, let me make my position clear before we get into any of this. Let's do it. I, no, 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 no. I said, no, no, I said, make no, your no, position no, clear. No, 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 said it. My, me. Yeah. Don't let's when I me. No, I said, let's do it. I know, but let me, me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't let's me. Yeah, you right. Go ahead. I. Let's, let's, Joe. Listen, strong black. Kings and queens out there, mm -hmm. I am here to make nothing but jokes because mm -hmm. I don't really give a fuck about this. Well, that's why right. you're the problem. Mm, yeah. Patriarchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet again. Wait, for, for real? <laughs> yeah. That's what they're, they're going to say. Getting backed in the corner. That's what they're going to say. That's like when you because, play somebody uh, that knows all the Connect Four cheats. It's like, ah! It's because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they got me. All like, the how do I keep falling It's, it's kind of crazy. Stop it's kind of crazy because you do care when men are being attacked. I, I can hear you bark. <laughs> stop the Connect line. Four stop cheats. The line. Yes! <laughs> There's only one cheat to stop the four. <laughs> oh, you've never played the fuck. <laughs> This is this is just going downhill. I love it. I love this is just not how right. I thought the second All right, come was on, no, 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 come I on, come on. I love where we're at. Okay. So you so you don't care because it's not a man being attacked. So you don't care. <laughs> I think that's what he was saying. I, that's how I. Wrote I don't it. care because I don't care about a, a rift between J Cole and No Name, especially on a hot Thursday or Wednesday <laughs> or any day. Any day. I don't give a fuck yeah. what they're arguing about. Just, I don't. But. Boy, was it entertaining it to was. you people that really care. Now, I'm not trying to gaslight or be dismissive. It appears but that that's way. my you people. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by you people? You have to explain. <laughs> <More. laughs> I'm, I'm rolling. I like it. Hey, you can say it. You can say it. You, can, you my friend, can get away with that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. It's okay. Yeah. No, no, I had a call. I had a call. All right. We're back. 
we are back. Uh, Juneteenth. Yes, happy Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Yes. Juneteenth was yesterday. Uh, Juneteenth is the celebration of. Well, why am I saying we can make white people say it? Yeah, they should say. They should tell our story. Rory, tell us the story. Uh, it is a celebration of the day that the slaves were freed. Uh, the last, the last, slaves. the last slaves yes. that did not know that they the were last slaves, eighteen seventy five, June nineteenth, eighteen sixty five. I mean, oh yeah, eighteen sixty. I wasn't born in Texas. Eighteen sixty five in Texas. Mm-hmm. Last of the slaves. This went on. The Dukes landed. The Dukes landed from the war and announced, "Yo, it's over. You're free. It's lit." Um. So yeah, it's a celebration. I want to celebrate that. I want to celebrate black people. Shout out to all black people. First of all, rest in peace, Breonna Taylor, number one. Definitely. Rest in Absolutely. peace, rest in peace, George Floyd. Rest in peace, Ahmaud Arbery. Rest in peace, uh, Pop Smoke, Kobe Bryant. The two year uh, death anniversary. I don't, I don't like death anniversaries, but the two year death anniversary of Triple X. Mm. Uh, rest in peace, him. Rest in peace to uh, Juice World. Mm. We've lost a lot of people. Yeah. So, so before we commence with just laughter and jokes and try to add some relief to some serious topics and serious times, uh, rest in peace. The murderers that uh, murdered Breonna Taylor as she was asleep in her own home are still out on the loose mm-hmm. three months later. One um, fired, but come on. What does that mean? Right. All right, so we got two more to go. More we, than fired. More than fired, please. Charges. Yeah. And then convictions. And then right. sentencing. Yeah, because the charges don't be enough for me. I, no, I need, it's, the charges never are. Yeah, I need, I need convictions. Uh, disturbing to read that Breonna Taylor's mother has been asking for the warrant uh, to be produced. Mm-hmm. And she's been having a difficult time. They're saying they can't find it. It got lost in the commotion. Yeah, of course. So they can't find the warrant. You mean the same department that said Breonna Taylor had no injuries is the same department that can't produce a warrant? Yeah. Shocking. Yeah, and they can't, because they can't find the warrant, we can't highlight the person who signed off on this warrant. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they know who signed off on the warrant. Oh, come on, anyway. probably the same person that signs off on most of their warrants. Yeah, you can see when the shuffle's in play. They're yeah. just shuffling right now. Yeah. yeah, a shame and sad, uh, shameful and sad. That's what I meant to say. Uh, but happy, uh, happy June, Juneteenth to all Black people out there. Uh, and that's that's what I have to say on that. Good, mm-hmm. good to see everybody celebrating. Good to see everybody posting. Mm-hmm. That shit looked real good yesterday. Yeah. Look, looked good. Felt good. Yeah. Now. I don't even know if this is the right topic to follow uh, us acknowledging and celebrating Juneteenth. But, man, we've got to give, got to give it to the culture. Got to state the culture. Let's do it. That's, this is a different show. Okay. Immediately after recording, it pains me to deliver this to you. Immediately after recording, a big rift in the culture took place. A tiff. No. Yeah. Hmm? No, this is not. It did. This is not the plan that you had talked to me on the phone about. <laughs> oh no, you're, that's that's still my plan. You're going against the plan. No, that's still my plan. I'm just telling them what happened. <laughs> All right, let me speed it up then. Well, uh, tone is tone has been a big uh, dispute in this, and I'm telling you, maybe your tone isn't correct here. <laughs> I hate. I I lose when that's brought up. Your tone. We can edit it. Cause how can you argue? No, don't leave. I want to. Exp- how can you like it's my tone? Mm-hmm. That's just how you talk. Like I'm not trying to tone bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just gotta, I, I always lose in the fight bad. when they say it's yeah. not even what you're saying. It's your tone. Yeah. All right. Well, you do it. No, you this, is, this, tone, is, this is you, you have bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that bitch tone. <laughs> I didn't like that one bit. Uh, so J- Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> Got nothing to do with nothing. Just, just yeah, but, he, him in there, but right? he has an opinion. Yeah, he does. He has a strong take on this. Yeah. Oh, does he? I miss. Oh, he has I a strong miss. take on women know. rappers. I did. All comes full circle. Mm, okay. And no name didn't uh, fit in that theory he had. So sorry, JD. You don't get five points for shooting from back there. <laughs> <laughs> still three. Yeah. Sorry, Jermaine. <laughs> point still the same. <laughs> hey, dunk is a dunk, homeboy. Just two points. Uh, Jermaine Cole. J. Cole, and pardon pardon me if I sound like I don't know all about this, because I don't know all about this. Nobody but does. But boy, it was fun to watch. Don't do that. Don't be dismissive, Ma. Oh, damn, my bad. Okay. Uh, Jermaine Trying Cole here. put out a song called Snow on the Bluff mm. that I intentionally did not listen to for the first five days it was released just because y'all was going too crazy. 
And it's always fun to watch y'all go crazy about shit without knowing where it stems from. Because you just get to guess and assume and just have mm-hmm. some fun with it. Um, so he put out a song, and allegedly this song is a diss record. <laughs> oh, or, it's more than that, or, allegedly. Or a diss Yeah, I don't know if it's alleged anymore. A diss response reply. I think he acknowledged it. To a young lady that we know as No Name. Mm-hmm. And No Name, I was, I was unfamiliar with. We brought her up a few times, I think, when her... Uh, Room 25 project or the telephone album came out. We, we talked about it briefly. I mean, all that she does. Mm-hmm. No yes, name she's is super dope. Very dope. That uh, social activist. She runs a book club. Uh, not so much a rapper anymore. But was a great rapper. If, well, she still is. She dropped a song yeah. yesterday or whatever. So. Been a minute. Yeah. But yeah, she's not just a rapper. Um, has been super active the past few years in everything that's currently going on as well. Um. And she had a tweet, if you can pull that up, Screen Man, of the exact tweet that started this this disagreement. This debacle. It's not a debacle. This shit. It is a debacle. <laughs> All right. And No Name's tweet goes like this. Hit it, Rory. I think you'd be better off reading this one. <laughs> I will say the date, though. This was May right, 29th. Get, get, cook, the, cook the date on. This was May 29th, 2020 at 341 PM via Twitter for iPhone. Come on, man. Who get a date like us? <laughs> all right. And she states, poor black folks all over the country are putting their bodies on the line in protest for our collective safety. And y'all favorite top selling rappers not even willing to put a tweet up. Niggas whole discographies be about black plight and they know where to be found. Okay. I mean, you know. All right, man. <laughs> so that's the tweet that Snow on the Bluff is allegedly in response to. Uh, let's see. Or I, one I, of the tweets. Let's see. I have Snow. Here we go. I purchased this song after all the commotion. <laughs> the commotion. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I do like the trend of diss records over sexy lovemaking chords. <laughs> yeah. It goes well together. Because it's a way to diss somebody. Mm. Respectfully. Yo, I was perturbed at some shit you did. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Tone. All about the tone. Yeah. And tone is misinterpreted in text. Huh? Tone is often misinterpreted in text. It is. Mm. No, you're right. Don't tell me how my parents are. <laughs> Facts, though. <so. laughs> like, come on. Facts, though. So. Rory, tell us, tell me about this beef. <laughs> okay. Tell well, us how um, you feel. Tell, I don't they think, were really angry at J. Cole. Tell us how you feel. I will start by saying I don't think the white man should be leading the conversation about two black people debating about how people should protest. I was actually more curious what you two so thought. you think Maul should do it? <laughs> I don't think the white guy should lead this conversation. I'd be happy to give you guys my take and my take that... <clears throat> Other black women have told oh, me, fuck. but Maul, uh, Rory Maul's open in the corner. No, no. All right, listen. First, no, no, no. first, no. first of all, man, why you can't Triangle be offense, white, man? Triangle listen, man. offense. Move listen, around. listen, man. Listen. First of all, oh god. Anybody, who not heard, first of all, anybody who heard this song and felt like J Cole was being anything other than respectful and just honest. 
I don't know if they are people that really know J. Cole. Because this was... And I didn't even Mom, know what mad, people were mad at. Mad people don't know J. Cole. But that's <laughs> a majority but, of them. Okay, so start there. Let's start there. Let's start there. If you don't know hey, the yo, person. I love when people say that and argue. Yo, if anybody knows me, no, yeah. nigga, we don't know you. <laughs> but, but that's for niggas on the street. We talking about an artist. A lot of people do know who J. Cole is. Right? No, they don't. I think that a lot of people know who J. Know Cole is. Know him and his character? No, no, no. I'm talking about him just as an artist. Okay. Oh, yes. So no, he's a. When has a him, lot. When has. Just as an artist, not as a man, as an artist, has he ever been looked at as disrespectful or anything other than an honest, just dope person through his music? We're not talking about if you met him or not. Like, here's a guy that was outside for the for the Ferguson. He was like with the people. <laughs> it's not the Ferguson mall. The whole, the whole no, it was kind of. It was the Ferguson. <laughs> Okay, but was, right. that wasn't what it was called. <laughs> no, they just, weren't in Ferguson. That's not yeah, the name. Yeah, but of the it's world. not the Ferguson. He's from the Bronx. Man. That's like when they say the DR. The, that's that he was outside. For, no, no, I'm saying he was outside for the whole Ferguson thing. Like yeah. that took place. Yeah, that's what I said. The Ferguson thing. <laughs> oh. So, like, he's obviously he cares about what's going on. He oh, cares Dennis about the Smith people. Junior was at the Ferguson. That's yeah. not Dennis Smith Junior. Oh, it is? All right, my bad. Just shut your white ass. I don't even know black. <laughs> you don't even know black See? people. Yeah. Well, I said you just it. said you were shutting up. So my <laughs> thing is, you know J. Cole is a good person. I mean, it's not, this is not something that, we don't have anything that says otherwise about J. Cole. That's just my whole thing about this. I didn't even know that this was a thing that was going on when I had tweeted about J. Cole. I didn't even I didn't know what was happening oh, until people started oh, saying it. I'm like, like Meek now. No, I really honestly I don't I, even I know what P. Simone did. No, I didn't know what was going on until people explained to me and I'm like, somebody felt some type of way about what he said in this song. A I lot, did, I a just, lot of yeah. Well okay, before you do that, let me just ask Parks and Rory something. Well somebody yeah. show me the disrespect. Can this. can that's you, what I want to is see. it is there a way to to spell male ego without mom? No, <laughs> no it's no. impossible. It's impossible. Yeah it's all there. It's impossible. All the letters that you need. Are That's there. what I was thinking. Yeah. Right, so wait, no, 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 no. Especially no, if he's eating egg so waffle. Can you, what no, you, you mean? Go. No, I mean <laughs> no, it's an ISO. Let me rock. So <laughs> my thing is, now nah, the whole the whole is, squad on you. We all open. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm gonna get my shit off because no, because honestly, this is this is a problem now. You are like mellow. this is this is something that I feel like I feel like there's a group of people that just sit down and wait for any opportunity. To tear somebody down And it's not right Like y'all went after J. Cole This was like the one person That I never thought that People would try to cancel Or get rid of Or whatever It's like And then For it to be Coming from this Like what did he say in this Who's this 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 record What did he say in Who's this record Who's the group record of people That Y'all trying to You bringing your defender over here like, <laughs> keep, Face keep Space trying it. to set a screen <laughs> Keep trying to set my the man, screen man, but I got him we, Right we, we trying to steal the ball No No Let me rock You scoring on your own so, basket <laughs> I'm just trying to understand What did he say All right. in this Alright All right. Piece of art That okay. can be taken as disrespectful the, I, I just want to remind you That just last week And we got to start just Bringing in clips Just last week You said Yo, man, we got to do more to just protect the black woman and just be with them and, but where and, was and the, listen to them. Yeah, but where was the... See how where they was feel. The, I just want to tell you that you said that. But where was the disrespect four or... Four days ago. But where was the disrespect or well, let, the let non-protection of black women well, in this If you music. stop talking, this white man will tell just, you. I'm just asking. <laughs> I think it was... I think it, I think it, oh, go ahead, Rory. Well, I... <laughs> I passed the ball. I'm <laughs> <You're> very clear. <laughs> Yo, it's Yo, all about ball. Rory, Rory, it's funny that Rory is this white man to Park. <laughs> Parks is just making sure we don't get a three second violation. Listen, He's just in and out the paint. In and out the paint. From the black women that I've spoken to about this record, they told me that. And he's telling you now. As a third party here, mm -hmm. because there are no black women on this podcast, which is Joe's fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, huh? Marissa was a black Your woman. Brain defenders again. <laughs> Yo, I'm at the concession stand. <laughs> I'm not even in this game. Hey, hey, before you finish what you're saying, whatever Trevor Noah thinks about this disturbing matter yeah. is what Joe thinks as well. Oh, another man. Whatever Queen Latifah <laughs> thinks about. 
this disturbing issue of male ego and patriarchy. Mm-hmm. Patriarchy. <laughs> and pay turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> pay turkeys. <laughs> That's the wrong issue. I I agree with okay. whatever okay. Killer Mike and Bill Russell think about this matter. Got you. Rory, finish okay. telling them what black women think. The black women that I've talked to that don't sit on the sideline and wait to attack people and cancel them felt that when he did this, out of everything that's going on, not only with black men, but with black women at the current moment, that he chose this time to address this issue and not attack, but go after how she was saying things and her tone, which is a thing. You can't tell people how to talk just because you're offended. It's not my fault. Especially by text. Yeah, text as well. Yeah. So they, wait, they wait, feel, you feel that like you can't tell people how to talk. To so in, instead of J. Cole taking his platform and speaking on the actual issues that are going on right now, he chose his platform and his time and his pen, which we don't get very often, to talk to a black woman about what she's doing wrong. Which is valid. So that's what the black women that I talk to felt about this record. Okay. And they're not the black women that sit to cancel someone or attack someone. They're Cole fans as well. I, I spoke to a lot I of black I spoke to a lot of black women in my phone as well about this. And most Take of that, the, Roy. most of them <laughs> Honestly. Fuck. And, and they most, got me. And most of them felt as well, like you heard them? As a well. smooth, a smooth as well. Yeah. I mean, not I even to some black as women well. as well. I mean, you know, they and they felt like they was like, you know, it's again, people just are in a, a state of they're ready to react and be, they want to, people are in a rush to feel like they're being attacked. Like, that's a real thing now. There's like a culture of people that want to feel like, oh, they're talking about me. Well, when people are they're constantly so, under attack, they're going to always so feel attacked. I, so, so to that point, Maul, but you, but you black gotta, women feel under attacked and what they had told to me, now I'm being attacked about how I'm protesting by yeah, another but, person of my own culture. Again, I get it, but... This this is not an attack. Let's we gotta. I, I'm, we have to I'm use. Just letting you know what black I, women I, I told me. I understand what you're saying. We I have am, to. We I, have to I use white. words correctly. <laughs> this is not an attack. J Cole was not attacking anyone. And then we gaslighting. This is not an attack. An attack? I don't know about an attack. Attack may be it's a strong attacky. word. It's attacking. But this is not attack-ish. an attack. Okay. All right. Not, Do you man. think out of everything Cole could have said at this time? Do you think this was the number one on the list that should have been addressed? A subtweet. This was, He's addressing a subtweet. This was, Let's be clear this about was that. J. Cole's response to people or someone saying or feeling like he's not saying nothing. He's basically saying, like, I'm sitting back because I'm still learning and we're going through this and it's a lot going on. I don't want to jump out there and say or do the wrong thing. He did. Like, just because y'all feel like I'm educated and I'm... It's like, that's not... I still have a lot to learn about these things because this is we're living through times that none of us have ever lived through. Right. Like we've never experienced nothing like this. So because I have such a large platform and people are going to notice when I say something or I jump out there, I'm being very careful and cautious of what to of what to say and when I say it because mm-hmm. I really I'm really not up to date or as educated on these things and these issues as others are. And I don't feel like I feel like there was no ego in that. And in fact, I feel like he removed all of his ego in that. So he's saying I'm not this to educated, that, this that, super educated guy that y'all think I am. To that, y'all say what? Uh, you don't think it's egotistical that, again, with everything going on, that you chose to pinpoint a tweet that you thought was about you. He's and responding then respond to a subtweet. To, to a tweet about you. Is that not egotistical? No. It is. It's egotistical to respond so to with a tweet everything about that's. You? No, it wasn't direct. It was a it was a subtweet. She didn't say his name specifically. And with everything oh, going on, and he man. didn't say her name specifically. Oh God! But the, he did afterwards. Listen, the bottom line is this: niggas be thinking I'm deep, intelligent. He's telling you I'm none of that. This he's removing the ego. Me, I'm me, not this guy me, that y'all jump, think I am. Am I, am I ask, not deep enough to let let understand? Let me just jump Cole? in and ask a few a few <laughs> quick questions. Why why is that not falling under the creative creator rights bag? He saw something, he thought something, he felt something, and he sung about it. I'm not mad at well, J. Cole personally. Music is egotistical. So I'm just saying it it can but be mu- both things. Music I'm I'm not saying that it's not egotistical. I'm saying what's wrong with that? What's and I'm not saying part? this is what's totally completely what, ego driven. I well, think he 
We're you, saying for a lot of people too that may not know exactly how to protest at this time, we need help. I don't think it's fully help J. Cole, just J. Cole. I'm not saying that, but picking out just a tweet that you think is about you to finally address something that's going on currently, it's just another point of but view. But you don't get it could to be say, egotistical. But you don't get to say finally for me. That's a fact. You don't get oh, to highlight, oh, you ain't rapped in mad long and now that's you want to rap. That's a huge fact. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, now but, is when I want to rap. And this is the topic that I want to rap about. And not okay. I.e. Yeah. I I music and, being egotistical. And, and, and y'all, y'all keep painting me to be this uh, high intelligent political activist. Let me tell you in this song that that's not who I am. It's mm. not what I want to do. This is what I am. This is what I do. Well, I guess, rap. Guess and what? these are my thoughts. But guess what? When so you why put, did he get hung for that part? Because when you put out music or art, half of the purpose of it is for people to critique and voice their opinions about the, the art. Almost more than half. Art is to be critiqued, whether, you, whether artists like you, it or not. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on all of that. But what I'm saying is... And to is, draw conclusions that may not be true or what you even uh, cool. targeted in your cool. words. But, cool. But, but, I'm not, do. but I'm not combining... The same way I don't really combine uh, Black Lives Matter with politics, the mistake we keep seeing white people make. Which is the weirdest, how they it, tie it, those it, things together. We keep seeing... <laughs> I don't tie in uh, art with activism unless the art tells me to do so. Sure, I think well, that's kind of did. This was tied this, in. This didn't tell me to do that. Me. Now I'm not saying what it told somebody else, but mm. this well, well, was I, art I, and I'll what and what, and what this so. young lady does, let me just get my what a few go thoughts go out. Shit off. Uh, and what this young lady, what this young lady does is activism. Like According to y'all and, and the people on the internet, they speak very highly of the work she's doing. She's doing a lot. She's teaching. She, she knows a lot. She's well read. And she's out there in the field putting in the groundwork. That's awesome. That can exist. And you could have found maybe a more compassionate way to attack someone's character. Because no, you didn't say J. Cole's name. But this has been a J. Cole critique for years before this conversation has come up. There's only Wait. J. Cole, Kendrick. We can guess We can guess who these are about. Wait, what do you mean? And be clear, he did been a say low-key, I be thinking she's talking about me. He said that. He said low-key, I be thinking she's talking yeah, about me. Yeah, but you know when he say low-key, yeah, come on. High key. I'm just saying. But, and, but and he then, said, I can't confirm that exactly. she's talking about well, me. But exactly. I, but I feel I like feel she like is. I feel like she's talking about me, low-key. And if she is, and she's, she's my beautiful woke sister... But part of being woke, woke means you're enlightened. And right. the part and the, the thing about enlightenment is if you are truly enlightened, all you want to do is enlighten somebody else. Right. But there is a wave of these conscious people that just speak to people condescendingly and like they fucking idiots. Right. And this tweet wasn't far from that for me. Right. If somebody is somewhere minding their fucking business, right. Jay Cohen bought his house. <laughs> Put who his old first house, put homeless moms in there, and did all types of philanth uh, philanthropist shit. That's a fact. True. Mm -hmm. Without question, Cole I, has been. I out believe there. that J. Cole has every right to feel and respond, as long as it's respectfully, because that's a woman. Mm -hmm. However, you want to respond. And it and it shouldn't be taken as an attack on her character or patriarchy. I agree. And, I agree. And, I think J. Cole uh, and I always, has his right well, to say well, whatever well, he wants. Well, but hold on, but with that comes the, uh, you may get critiqued for but, it. But no, but he, and he said that he addressed that part. He said, now, I know I'm not above criticism. Right. Like, he told you that. So is this person that tweeted that, is she above criticism? I don't think no name would say she's above criticism. So again, then, where then is, I don't. Then I, I'm not going to speak for her, the, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't think. Then knowing, where is the, the the issue at? Then it was just a lot of it was a lot of backlash. Like it was it was just too much. It was a lot. Well, like we're also a, fam. This is J Cole we talking about, bro. But we're you're also dealing with and I don't know J. with, J. Cole, a, with so the timeline, not what No Name was saying. <laughs> I mean, we could get. Oh right, yeah, no, I'm off. Right. I don't. Yeah, I can't yeah. speak for no name. I don't know. No, her no, no. We're speaking well, she right spoke now for, for herself the, in the for song. The public. That's we're she talking did. about public opinion. Let's get to her, the actual. Her retort record. is great too. Listen, and just because everybody got a phone and access to Wi-Fi and a social media account, everybody should not have a voice. But I'm wait, a firm believer. That. And let well, me say, in general, right? In and, general, okay. in general, like because there's a lot of people that Try, really don't. They're not adding anything. It's some people that's just out there that's just. They want to tear shit down. They want to cancel people. They want to do... And it's like... That's a fact. I mean, family, we know But that. we got to get away from that. 
Like we have to get away from that. Like y'all trying to cancel J. Cole? Like, come on, man. All right, but stop. The, what do we stop? I, I, right? Are stop, people stop, trying to cancel? Well, stop, stop, stop. Because I think often once cancel culture is even introduced to a conversation, it's taking us away from what our real conversation was about. I agree. I don't think anybody. You can't cancel J. Cole. Yeah. And I don't even. Think, and I don't even think the people that were uh, critical of that record were trying to cancel him. They were responding to the record the same way we respond to a record every fucking podcast. And I think two things. I think two things can be true. I think that J. Cole could and should be able to feel a way about something he thought was about him and respond to it in a respectful manner. Absolutely. And I do believe, uh, and I do believe that fucking, uh, uh, no no, name. What, no, no name. what no name was saying about, Hey, your voice and your platform is just so massive and powerful. I wish as somebody, not as an MC, not as somebody who was speaking passive aggressively to you. I wish that you would use it and help, help, right. help more. Right. And that conversation will never be advanced if it's two people that's just sensitive being offended at at everything that's that's occurring. Like, we do have to learn how to take some criticism. I'm not directing that solely at any one person. You know, that, that's mm. for everybody. Yeah. That's yeah, a, that's, that's, that's a, everybody. That's, thing. that's all around the board. Now that that little bit of seriousness is out of me, I'm going to toss it to Rory. But let me just remind everybody: whatever Rap City thinks about <laughs> this matter is how Joe really feels, and that's what I stand on. I, first of all, I'm standing with my black woman. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Maul, I don't even understand how you don't understand what what is being said. I'm standing with I stand with black women every day, all day. But I'm just saying that people cannot take that. And try to turn it into something else. Like that's just we getting away from the whole purpose of artists like J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a guy that we can you can almost you can just see that J. Cole is just a good person. You can see that. You can look at some people, watch how they maneuver, watch how they move, and then when you hear him speak, you know it's coming from a humble space. Yeah, but like it's not all of this stuff is divisive, let's be clear. And that's not a positive thing in in the situation that we are currently in and have been in, right? Uh, and that, nothing divisive is is. But, is and positive. that was my point. Which, but like, J Cole kind of came out divisive, which is why there is an issue. No, he did not come out. No divisive. name came out divisive. He didn't. J Cole didn't come out divisive. I guess they're both guilty. No name no, came out not. divisive. J Cole did not come out. Yo, divisive. we out here doing all the work. All these niggas that y'all made multi millionaires. They singing about this shit, but they not really about that shit, man. They sitting there. We can't even get a tweet from these. Because niggas. I'm gonna tell you what else happens. Yeah. That's but, divisive. But, but gonna, you guys are also telling a group how they should feel. No, I'm not about words that were directed at them. I'm not telling them how. I'm they I'm not should telling feel. anybody how they should feel. I'm not telling nobody how. I'm, they should. You I'm, can't say he didn't come out divisive. It, it, it had nothing to do with you. Black women can feel that way because it was directed at a black woman. It started with a black woman. So stop. Say, miss me with that. I'm talking about how this begun. That's Jay not Cole, what I'm bringing up. I'm saying to the fact that you're saying Cole didn't come out divisive. Uh, black women can't. Well, you're not saying black women can't feel that way. I, I don't want to. Yeah, misrep- misrep- I don't want to misrepresent I, and, what you said. Yeah, please. I don't want to misrepresent that because I know you're not saying that. But the same way. Cole felt that way about a possible subtweet. His response, black women can feel that way too because maybe they didn't even see this tweet. Maybe they just saw J. Cole with a huge platform that No Name does not have. It's, it's, it's always the person that gets hit second that gets caught. Like, it's never the first. So when they see Cole as this huge platform, oh, wow, Cole put out a record and this time, let me go check it out. It's J. Cole. We know what he does. We know his platform. He doesn't come out often. This must be important. And then it is to critique a black woman about what she is saying. Yes, I see how black women could take that in a way. But it wasn't so much the critique. I understand that, Cole, though. Yeah, like he I, didn't I really. Understand that. But Roy, I think what J. Cole was Roy doing was he was speaking for to that tweet, whether it was about him or not, about artists and celebrities. It's like, yo, sometimes we don't really have enough information on what's going on, and we don't want to jump out there and say some dumb shit. And then y'all attack us and kill us for that. I like J. Cole's record. I like what he said in the record a lot. Let me be very clear about that. I love everything that J. Cole does for the most part. I mean, not everything, but most most things that he does, uh, musical or not. Um, but I guess it's just the sentiment of the record that is the issue, more so than the words he said in the record. For me, for me, it's, it's not about... It's not about telling anybody how they should feel because my overall stance on this is we should listen to each other. Yeah, Like, I'm not going to say all the shit that I said last week and so many other weeks in this podcast, which is, hey, as a black man, I don't know how black women feel. 
So the only way to know is to listen. Mm-hmm. But that's not going to, that's not, I can do that and have a conversation about how I feel also. And if mm-hmm. we both don't personalize it and we both are respectful about it, then we can get somewhere is all I'm saying. And it seems like both of them might have missed that tidbit. It seemed like they both were sneak dissing. It seemed like they both maybe had a separate agenda that was away from the cause. I, again, That's, in I this am, moment, in am, this moment. I am a, a white guy. I'm never going to tell <laughs> anyone that is oppressed how they should protest or have those conversations. I'm just here to talk amongst my friends. I think what J. Cole did, I think he was honest. I think he was speaking for a lot of his peers and other 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 people that he knows that feel like, yo, we don't really have a lot of information on this. We don't really know about a lot of this. We're learning from people that we follow and we look at on online. Like, we, we follow these people and we gain information. So the reason why, back to the tweet, we don't jump out there and just use our platform for for causes like this because we try to get as much information as possible. I love that part about it. Before right. jumping out there. And then if we jump out there misinformed, that's something else they kill us about. Like, well, you don't even know what's going on it. And it's like, well, damn, I was just trying to be helpful, but I apologize. Now you're in another situation. Listen, I think what that, J. Cole well, did, that I think part he that he was about to get man. in, and I, I, might, I might catch some, some slack for this, but that part that he got in where he was saying, listen, a lot of my strong, educated sisters look down on me and niggas like me because they come from a different experience and can't really identify with some of the shit that I was going through over here, but we still want that. We still want to be taught. We still down for the same shit, but we're looked at a certain way from y'all. He he got into it. He he smoked it. Like well, that, Cole, like Cole that is hard. extremely I'm not, articulate. About, I'm not talking about angering people. I know what you're saying. I know I'm what you're saying. I'm just talking about Cole is ex- how he felt. Cole is extremely articulate and an extremely smart writer. And so, I like the double down like, that he did. Hey, good morning, y'all. I stand behind every word that I said. Why wouldn't he? Because normally people cave to public public nah, reaction. Nah, and that's see, and that's the problem. And it comes from our own kind most of the time, man. That's the issue that I have. It comes from our own kind. Like, why why would he cave? He didn't. He was not disrespectful. In fact, he was saying like, "We need your help, artists like me, brothers like me, black men like me. We need we need y'all. We don't know. We need y'all to show us. We need y'all to get us up to speed on." Like, where's the ego in that? Like, he to me, he removed his ego. Like, yo, I don't know what's going on. I need you. <laughs> like, I need you. Instead of, like, claiming you holier than... Uh, we need you. I think if, that, if, that, that if, part I just didn't come across clear in yeah. the song because he started off with, I saw a tweet from the girl, da 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 And, well, that's how and he also, got- to, to that point of... Uh, I'll even say, say let me yesterday. To that ex- exact point. She had said, I feel like so many men come to us for help for so many things and we have to be protectors of men on so many occasions where we have to rise to the to that occasion as black women i'm now being told how my tone should be while i'm trying to help that uh sometimes yeah you do and maybe we should you do need to bleep that name just in case because it's the internet um but yeah that was her point of view to, to exactly what you're saying like i show up all the time for can black ask, men. Can I ask you a question in response to that? Not saying you'd be able to answer I, I wouldn't. I, this is just a conversation I had yesterday. Well, I'm just going to pr- yeah. present a question sure. then. Because me, as someone who struggles with tone and delivery, I hear that a lot. Mm. Yo, your tone could be different. Your approach could be different. Mm-hmm. It's not really what you're saying. It's how you're saying it. Mm-hmm. Is there a way for a man to express that sentiment to a woman without, without it feeling like he's trying to police her it's a good question it's a better but, question for a woman probably but i think it's just uh I, th- I think it goes back to the core record is where you start if you start off with what feels or sounds like a tacky it's gonna come off wrong from the, it doesn't matter where you end up at j cole he, started off a tacky i saw this tweet so the from women. this girl da, 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 da. yeah like yeah it sounds like i'm writing a diss record niggas be thinking i'm deep intelligent fooled by my college degree that's attacking the, the well, he made, him, he, made him, he made himself vulnerable and then he attacked over yeah. some jazzy beats. Yeah. And I have to go with the w- attacked because women are saying, yo, this is an attack. It's not for me to come and say, I just this want, is I not just, bad. I just want to be, but I do, I just I don't, need to be shown I where think, was the attack. I think the, I think the, the, the black 
woman voice can be amplified without uh, dimming the man's voice. Absolutely. Like that's all. That, that, that I, I hope I hope that's not uh Do we have uh, no I name that's not too? Because I, I, I yeah. loved I loved. I have it right here. I didn't want to. Yeah. You know, I don't want to make this the longest segment ever, but we shouldn't skip over her response. Yeah. Not at all. Man lib on the beat. Let's go. Two things. I want to say that that young lady killed. She she's killed, she's she, a phenomenal rapper. She yeah. killed that. I had no I, I had no idea, really. So now I'm, I'll, I'll I send you some of her um, albums. You yeah. like so now I present, present my next question to y'all. Why is this not considered rap on rap beef? Because she, she because <laughs> oh. she actually is an uh, an activist and is doing work. No, we could. I think it we would could, be. We considered, could still call it rap yeah. beef. <laughs> They're rapping. But if I don't, this, it's but not if, a beef. It's, yeah, beef. It's I don't response. like that it's word in this rap tension. You know, it's a conversation. Rap, a rap stuff, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's, well, it's, it's not a, beef. Though. It's yeah, so it's a rap conversation. It could it's be definitely not considered beef. rap. Beef. If I'm a male so. rapper and you're a, a woman rapper, I can't rap. To you? <laughs> yeah, you can rap to me, but it's not beef. You and, know what I'm saying? Uh, got it. Got it. Got yeah, it. That's what I'm saying. It's let's, not beef. Let's go past that point. It's not beef at all. If it was, he lost. I, I can't <laughs> rap to you, and you can't rap back to me? Yeah. You can do that. Wait, she who, did. who said nobody <laughs> could rap back? Well, when we start talking about tone and delivery, I'm rapping, and you're a rapper, too. Mm. And they did. That's what happened. Okay. They rapped. To each other, they tweeted to each other. Listen, if you're just now joining us, we're talking about the No Name versus J Cole beef. And if you're confused about my position, I agree with whatever Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg has to say about this. How does Whoopi, Whoopi feel? Watch, how does watch the view? How does Whoopi feel? No, watch this view. Watch it. Watch us. The views from the Joe. Yes. She did kill that though. She killed it. Yeah, yeah. She did. That second and third verse, especially. She's very Listen, talented. Man, um, woman. I just don't, again, I just don't understand what people have said about J. Cole. I am you just. You gotta listen just, to women when they're talking to you, man. I know. I spoke to a lot of women about it. You gotta talk to some more. Yeah. I am just a white man shutting the fuck up and listening. Do not mind me. It's just a podcast conversation. Yeah. Just a conversation. I love both the artists, so. And No Name's a great follow on Twitter as far as like uh, resources in regards to the revolution and. Anti capitalism and good books to read, and uh, she has a book club, No Name Book Club, I believe is what it's called. And um, yeah, she's a great follow. Real. She has put out two, I think, albums that are both pretty dope. Yeah, and she was on the uh, Surf album, which is Chance and Donnie Trumpet. Chance, we need a disc record from you, bro. Throw yourself in this beef like Joe threw himself into the Drake beef. I mean, Joe was dissed by Drake. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it was a, it was he like just a, told you to it was a it vine. Up. It wasn't really. <laughs> it was a vine. We didn't even know it was gonna be a record. It was a record on the vine. <laughs> he was playing golf and telling Joe to pump it up. You know, they laughed me out of the gym, but I think I proved my point. As long as I proved <laughs> no, my point, I don't care. The point was proven. They, they, they laughed me right out of the gym, and they still. I'm a laughing stock to this day. But in my mind, <laughs> no, everyone's friend. Everyone's friend. I now. think I proved my point. Yeah, he was out there dunking, and Drake was. In the yeah. locker room? No, not, he, no. The, the the point was, get he better not rap. Laugh at me, <laughs> write me off. Tell me I'm a bum and <laughs> I'm a loser. He did. Yeah. 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 No, you're right. Joe won. <laughs> and, and you and you guys are besties now. <laughs> Joe won. <laughs> I mean, you're always gonna win a one sided. Never mind. Listen, I'm the only one that ended up beefing with Drake to this day. You guys are all friends. Here I am in the corner like, oh, I didn't know he was going to do that many. <laughs> yeah, you got to get Khaled to squash that. Khaled? Yeah. I don't know Khaled. Yeah. You, you got to meet him. <laughs> you should meet a great guy. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty awesome, man. <laughs> he seems nice and positive. <laughs> Introduce yeah, me, man. Rest, rest in peace to Guru, man. <laughs> what? Guru tried it. <laughs> well, he tried. I'd be on the low sipping Asti's Bumanti. Yeah. yeah. Asti's Bumanti. He wasn't Asti. and Rossi. That was like Ace of Spades in 89. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. For sure. For sure. I understand it. I get it. Um, all right. New music. Lots of new music. Isn't Rory, it? tell them what's the latest. <laughs> the latest. <laughs> tell them what's been released. Tons of hits. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Nothing but the hits. <laughs> uh, well, Wale put out a record. He did. An okay. EP. 
Which I really enjoyed. Knew you was going to Wale first. Well, right. it was first on my list. I mean, I have Black announcing no, no, an EP. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We announced that EP. Yeah, Wale. Wale no, you, a... you, <laughs> you. I snitched. I snitched. <laughs> Because I be forgetting what I'm not supposed to tell people. That happens. Like, when people hit me with shit, I'm like, oh, Black got some, some new shit coming. And two weeks later, Black is like, yo, tonight might be the night I feel like, should I give them something? I'm, they like, yo, we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We Joe told us. Yo, I had this idea tonight. <laughs> yeah. Like, nah, Joe talked about this shit a month yeah, ago. Yeah, we, we got it, buddy. Just just hit send. I fell for the post <laughs> that he put. I was hitting the Dropbox link that he put out. I'm like, I can't find the EP. I hit Justice. I said, is it out? He's like, no, man. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I, are, you, are you are you that guy to hit the person involved? <laughs> you just didn't search <laughs> search Spotify. I, I went through the is, whole is Dropbox it, that Black gave the, the people. Apple. Did yeah, it hit the Apple Did list. it hit the streets? No, I I'm felt, searching oh, everywhere. I felt really stupid that I didn't have a college degree and my IQ was average because mm-hmm. I couldn't get the link to work. So I hit Jesse. He was like, "No, nah, that's just not out yet." I said that would explain why I can't find it. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Problem solved. Anyways, well, Wale put out music that is available to the world. Yeah. That Joe did not snitch on, um, called the Imperfect Storm. I think it's yeah. what six records. The, the Revolution Two Step. It is. It's EP. Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Did you just say this is Dance Dance Revolution? It is. Listen to <laughs> it. That shit's fire though. <laughs> Y'all no, sick. the only activist song they heard all week was No Names. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard about fifteen today. Yeah, but they won't. All they'll talk about is little babies and no names. Are you talking about Parks and I? No, they. Oh, oh, oh they. they. Okay, they. all right. They. Everything Them. is not an attack on white people, Rory. <laughs> I mean, you're, I just feel. I just feel like we're so. I feel like we're so oppressed at this moment. <laughs> I felt the cop in line for the McMuffin. <laughs> you felt her pain. <laughs> yeah. That's why you hate this. <laughs> I don't hate it. Why? You just pulled a mall? Yeah. <laughs> that was rude. Tell us why you dislike this. I mean, Tell us why you've had enough of this. It's enjoyable. I just don't want to dance to the it's revolution. It's enjoyable. Personally. You just don't enjoy it. Yeah. It's enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so it is enjoyable. It is enjoyable. But just but not for you. you. you don't, not I probably personally won't go back yeah, to it. You don't eat and enjoy. I've, uh, Look at that privilege shining. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It you can don't, be you enjoyable. Don't wanna, you don't want to hear about the black plight, huh? No, I do. It's disturbing to hear. Uncomfortable. No. You don't dance. Well, it is you uncomfortable. You're not ready to have the uncomfortable conversation. I am ready to have the uncomfortable conversation. How are you? White I, uh, <laughs> 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 Look at Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is, he's the yo, most random. When, yo, bro, when bro, Harrison man. reacts, like, something was wrong. <laughs> just bleep it. Anyway. Don't uh, forget to bleep that. I won't. Oh. <laughs> he's going to forget. <laughs> Anyways, I thoroughly enjoy this. Uh, back to the thoroughly, point. Thoroughly, huh? Back to the point. Six, right? all six records. I thoroughly enjoy it. I did thoroughly enjoy it. What? That's your ringtone? <laughs> Who is that? Angelique that's so, that's, Lip Services. That's Sweetie Joint? <laughs> That's what you be doing? No. Oh, okay. That was a mistake on my phone. Okay. I butt played at the pod. Mm. <laughs> How you butt play lip service? <laughs> That's at the top of your shit. Or you think I got enough of butt play? <laughs> he had enough. He put his phone there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! What's up with you? Nothing, man. When you Moving laugh, when you drag the laugh 20. out, that's when they go to it. <laughs> oh my bad. All right. Come so, on, so, uh, so tell, tell us, oh, Rorley. Come on, Rorley. <laughs> Rorley. <laughs> it's my dude. Come on, you know we know. Um, you thoroughly enjoyed each and every track and right, the so, sequence. So you've removed the phone from your ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We can proceed. Uh, to the point we was joking about academics saying a long time ago that if you're not talking about this shit, nobody wants to hear it. Right. I think this was a, a great balance of. Dope music and he great message. Balance. He pulling all the buzzwords out. That's a fact. It was you can tell what it's a, f- a friend of his. <laughs> That's a great balance. <laughs> nah, he got a like fun beats off with mm. what was going on. I thought it was a, a, the perfect uh, juxtaposition, if you will. All right. When they say juxtaposition, <laughs> he digging in that bag. You don't even have a juxt bag. No, you don't. 
<laughs> it was sequenced well. Um, All the, six fe- songs? the features were great. It was mixed well. <laughs> if you just join us, shout out to McClenny. I don't know how it's successfully. I don't know how this shout podcast works. <laughs> I don't. Know, this shit is doing shout great. Out I don't know. How. That's my dude. <laughs> Shout out Yo, to I'm joking around with Rory. Come on, let me get I'm some joking water around in this too. shit. I, I, I'm joking I around serious. with Rory, but I, I, I did enjoy this project as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the way that Wale revolutioned. He yeah. did revol... I, he make, I he made so, it palatable. So he balanced, is, the name is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, he made it palatable for yeah. me. He made it palpable. Palatable. Okay. Palpable. So, yeah, nah, so the exact yeah. same thing I was saying. No, nah, he yeah. papaya. No, it was a different yeah. buzzword. Don't worry yeah, about it. Was literally, literally the exact same. He thing. made a pomegranate. I know. He yeah. made pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what he did. No, because when they do the revolution songs over Ice revolution over revolution beats, yeah. then I get sad. I feel like I got to go out and attack a white person. Yeah, you got to go out and be destructive. Yeah, yeah and, and, I, and I don't want to do that. Yeah. So I like when the revolution music is over. Like a fun, dancey type of beat so I can dance. Dance me, revolution. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. When the streets open back up, I need some I need some revolution in my revolution music. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was about to say, is that is that coming from my ass? It's, it's Parks, <laughs> Parks is doing them all right now. I am. Go is coming from your ass. <laughs> Public Enemy is back. We just talked about Public Enemy last week. He was Being trying to get right off yeah, Wale. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm just but saying Park, I like my revolution music Parks, with some revolution to it. Parks. Parks. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Talk, Sometimes we want to talk to us about the did juxtaposition. You, did, you, did you just maul us? Yeah. I did. You just oh. mauled us. Oh. I'm sorry I wanted to get away yo, from the buzzwords. Yo, I might get in trouble for this one, but P.E. No, it's out. Brand new P.E. That's out. <laughs> Prem, out. Primo yeah, P.E. Yeah. P. E. Flav. That's out. It's out. Is the visual out, though? I think there is a video as well. So you don't like revolutionary music from Wale, you like it from Chuck D? No, I do like it from Wale. I just like it when it's... Uh, aggressive. Aggressive, yeah. yeah. All right, That's I understand. It. But That's do you it. think that people can dance to revolutionary Absolutely. music? Absolutely. Okay. Show us how you think they danced. <laughs> let me, let me Show see. us. You ever seen the Fight the Power video? It looks I, like that. I have. They, they didn't dance in that video. Yes, they they absolutely walked. danced in that, movie, in that video. Did they? Did, they did, I got to see it again. They did They did dance in that. I thought it was X Clan dancing. Uh, the, uh, that wasn't dancing at the S1Ws. Was yes, doing. it is. The Kappa shit. Yes, this? yes. Oh, God. Come on. That you want to be a Kappa dumbass. My dumbass as a kid waiting for Terminator X to say a word. <laughs> <laughs> like, when is he going to speak? <laughs> this nigga never said a word. No. All right, uh, not to spend too much time on Wale. Enjoyable project from Wale. Wale, thank you for yeah. that EP during these times. Dope. Uh, Public Enemy Preem, brand new. Uh, what's the name of the song, Parks? Uh, Shut State, the fuck of up. State of the Union. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, State of the Union. State right. of the Union, not to be confused with State of the Culture, even though, you I know what I mean? Think, I don't think anyone confused. I mean, but just in case you did. But they didn't. Uh, what else came out? Tiana, like we expressed to you. Uh, that's a great album. Yeah, thank you. Tiana. I know I told y'all that really the last good. podcast, but it's a great album. She added some songs. This was more songs than, than I heard, but all the songs I heard and that I was waiting for are on there, unaltered. Unedited. Mm. Mm. They didn't change uh, all the samples yeah, on you. They didn't change the mix, change the sample. <laughs> and uh, I think she knew that it was coming out today. And she knew it was being released. <laughs> she had a party, her own party, not in Kansas in the woods. In Kansas. Ooh, yeah. yeah, where was they at? Wyoming or some shit. Utah, some shit. Yeah, they was in Wichita doing some shit. Yeah, Wyoming. Yeah, this this one went a lot different. This one had like Cardi B supporters there. I mean, not Cardi B. Uh, Tiana Taylor supporters. I think Cardi was there, though. Because she's a Tiana Taylor supporter. And I think Cardi B supporters supported this. And Munchie was there. (laughs) I still have no idea who Munchie is. Mm -mm. You know she went more. Don't do that. (laughs) Yeah. My dumb man. Yo, how was it? (laughs) I was going to fly in. I was going to fly in, too. Yo, they they invited me to that. Damn, now that I know you was there, I should have (laughs) went. I know the law. I don't care. (laughs) I don't care if you judge me. Yo, you are just Yo, we're man. supposed to be in L.A. that night, too. But pod, at the pod, they wouldn't move it. Oh, my God. I know you blame yeah. it on us, too. Come on, man. man. Nah, I right. nah, blame that on me. I'm true to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not new to this. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm following that, that so lie. Stupid, yeah, man. Man. I, I let her know. So Yo, you, I was supposed couldn't move it. <laughs> Come on. That's how you open the cup. Yeah. <laughs> let me see your DMs. No, man. No, no, no. no. But let me read the no, request. No, there's nothing in there. The request? Yeah, what happened the to request you? Would be funny. Well, what happened I, I to you? I delete all of that shit. But what happened? Nigga's single deleting. You are <laughs> yeah, miserable. You know how you, know how you, you go are to request? That's some extra time. He is miserable. Nah, you go to request and you can just delete all the requests. Uh, but, well. 
right. No, right, I, I didn't even know you could do that. I don't like the clip. Listen, Tiana's album, um, I don't want to dick ride, but I will. I'm, I'm really proud of I'm, her. I'm here to dick ride. I'm, not only am I proud of her, but I'm glad that she was able to put out the album that she wanted to put out finally. Uh, for, for some people, this may be uh, too long of a project. To that, I say for somebody who was not able to put out the amount of songs they wanted to on their debut, for somebody who was just as shocked as the rest of us that her debut was 13 minutes, <laughs> and I ain't going to hold you, what a fire 13 minutes it was. Yeah, it was a good album. Like, it left us wanting more, and that's what she did this go-around, man. Uh, and I can hear the work that she put in. I can hear the work. Every song is fire. I bought the shit and somehow had five videos in my phone, too. Mm-hmm. I deleted feel, the video. How do you feel about the uh, juxtaposition? What juxtaposition? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> of there not being just 13 minutes. I will say I was one of those people when I saw 23 records this morning, I was like, oh, God, this is a lot. This is a lot from Black Woman, huh? <laughs> you caught, caught, caught me there. Mm. If this, listen, mm. I think you got Neil, broads I think, in Atlanta. Uh, I think Neil Diamond put out a record as well. That could be 40 records. That's totally fine. Mm. But Neil Tiana, Diamond. come on. <laughs> Roy uh, would know about the Neil Diamond release. Diamond. Bob you Dylan put out a It's a classic, man. <laughs> John Lutch is Neil out Diamond out. alive? Neil Diamond. Why? Don't kill Neil Diamond. <laughs> Neil, Neil Diamond is your dad. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you, you don't know him. I'm Roy Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when the album drops, you never know. Mm. Come on, man. That's marketing. Mm. Come right on, there. huh? Did we just let's go? Let's go, let's go, Sid. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know where he got a Sid banger. True. No, it got stolen by Kelly Rowland. Oh yeah, <laughs> that kind of rhyme. That's fucked up. I like that song. And Kelly Rowland has a great song called "Stolen." A really good song. That we, might be my sleeper. I might have played it asleep already. Anyway, come on. What, yeah, up, what other not? music came out? Anderson that that album was a, fucking a amazing. Revolution. Anderson Pac put out some revolutionary music. Her put out some revolutionary music. Let me be the first one to tell. Oh, let me be oh. the. <laughs> was that re- revolutionary as well? Yeah. Okay. She it was she flipped the uh, most hey. deaf Omi says that's not revolutionary. Hey, if I was her, I, hey, I would be regretting asking Drake to drive to my mom's house two hours. <laughs> hey. She lost that one. <laughs> she lost that one. <laughs> Should have just waited till her mom was at, at her crib. <laughs> Made it more convenient. Hey, Yo, I'll wait till hey, your mom come over here. Hey, Drake ain't going on that trip, and you bitch-ass fans ain't uttered Georgia Smith's name since. <laughs> fickle fans. <laughs> so fickle. Hey, ever since Drake said, girls on this side, girls I know on this. It's like, man, Georgia, <laughs> man, what? <laughs> Why you did that to Drake? Yeah, no. Nah. Pause, come on, rep for George Smith. Damn, this nigga got the bass turned up, huh? <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> Shit. I'm jamming in my crib. Uh. Give him a verse. Uh, Young Roar. <laughs> Ooh, double time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> double time this one. You already know my name is Rory. If you knew to me, you don't know my story. I'ma let you know now all my glory. Uh. These new bitches, they just bore me. Uh. Facts. Uh. Yo. Uh, turn down nah, a little let, bit. They can't hear my. They can't nah, hear my bars. Let the beat breathe. They wasn't ready. Uh, let the beat breathe. I don't give a damn. I don't love you hoes. I just love Sam. Real made <laughs> bitches know who I am. Man, Bro, up, you man. said real made bitches know who I am. <laughs> yeah. What do he be talking about? <laughs> Cause y'all don't never tell me where y'all want to go with the verse. <laughs> the Mazi. Hey, come on, you Eating know what I just pasta. copped. V outside new Mazda. Uh. <laughs> You know what I just cop? Well, Eating just pasta, cop. Mazda. It's fucked up because I had um I had Maul's verse ready again. I wasn't oh prepared for God. Rory. Here we go. We'll come back. Not to this. Not to this. Not Here to we this. go. Not to this. Don't sleep. Can't handle the double time. Don't sleep. I get it. Let me chill because some niggas out there that was fans of mine is judging these freestyles. They're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're like, yo. <laughs> they're burning their. <laughs> yo, you better not call Benny. <laughs> not with that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass niggas. Not with the semi. Definitely not. <laughs> um, what else came out? Oh, listen, man. Listen. T Grizzly dropped a project. He did. He did. Uh, Are you talking about the Her record? I didn't hear the Her record. I feel well, like come on, Parks just said something. Don't do that. Don't do that, y'all. Parks has a mic and an opinion. 
<laughs> what? He's, he's, he's an what adult. Did, he can speak. Pause, what did you I'm say? here. I said T. Grizzly Listen, dropped out. We already okay. didn't put him in the vids because y'all didn't want him there. <laughs> <laughs> that's his Parks, living room's fault, Parks, not ours. Parks has, <laughs> that's, that's, Parks has an opinion. He just told y'all that T. Grizzly dropped and y'all didn't say anything. My React. Bad. My bad. I fuck with T. Yeah, Grizzly. React. We was on a revolutionary thing. so I Yo, we to have to break here. down what I fuck with such and such means. One day break, it down, break it down, Break it down. Break down the juxtaposition. Come on. Ju- ju- juxta us. Pause. <laughs> All right, what's your, favorite, what, 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 what's your three favorite T. Grizzly song? Uh, first Day Out, part one. Oh, second, no, no. second Day Out. <laughs> second Day Out. <laughs> what's the third? <laughs> third Day Out. Third, okay. <laughs> you know what? Let me just hit his drop. <laughs> Let me just hit his drop. No, 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 no. No, I did listen to this now. album. I did listen to this album, though. Like, don't do it's that. A dope album. To no, try to make yeah, it sound yeah. like I'm playing him. I'm you, not. Yeah. I listen to this album and I no, like this album. No, you Me don't. Too. Yes, I do. You did not. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Hit, Boy, Hit Boy did half oh, this shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, I got Rory to give me producer credit. <laughs> All right, forget it. You win. You got it. Yo, who else? <laughs> who else Man, produced on Yo, who else produced who else worked on well, Buster, Buster was on it. Oh, okay. Uh, Omega and Cypress. Oh, okay. Scott Storch. All right, let me go next. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. really feeling that Blueface <laughs> album. Don't if, compare it to you, Grizzly Don't do that. Face. I didn't. You did. <laughs> I see what you did there. Parts. <laughs> I said nothing of the sort. <laughs> That's the first thing. What you are you wish. thinking subconsciously? <laughs> I would never group those two in MCs together. MC. <laughs> they don't see look at look at look at Blueface being an MC. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? And your story. <laughs> Yo, Blueface is horrible. <laughs> yeah. Look at you comparing those, not, those lyrical demons. I'm not supposed to say that because <laughs> he has a gun on him in case Joe tries to butt in. I got him butting in. Oh. <laughs> and I butted in in my... All right. <laughs> all right, man. I just want to talk about new oh, music, yeah. man. That's all I want to talk about is new music. <laughs> I was a little baby. <laughs> she was gonna. Word. I don't know how you got thrown into this. I enjoyed your album. Ignore them, please. You know what? Let me get this T Grizzly album right now. It's good. It's called the smartest. T Grizzly is good. Don't listen to to Lil Babel who got gunned in Miami. No, Why do you? I, like keep, I never girl. said T Grizzly wasn't good. Why do y'all keep putting words in my mouth? I didn't say you didn't. Now you're putting words in my mouth that I put in your you mouth. You said Pauls. don't listen it's to this guy. It's all about the juxtaposition. It's all about uh, the my tone. Yeah. Don't tone police to me. I'm toning you. As a black man. I'm toning you. You've got 600 year history of tone policing us. What, it what it ends one? today, buddy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do the white Hit people the say? Hit the bridge now, buddy. <laughs> What do the white people say here? Uh, the Irish were treated bad too. <laughs> <laughs> they love to get that off. They do love that. <laughs> Blue, Blueface be trying to. So, all right, go ahead. Go ahead, forget it. I mean, you forgave Russ for his his buttoned in state of the culture line. And Jay Z. You'll, you'll, for his. you'll forgive Blueface eventually. I know you. I have no problem with Blueface. I have no problem with you sound, anybody. You sound shook. Well, I don't want to. How can I not sound <laughs> shook and not have an issue with these people? <laughs> no, if you scared, Joe, so you Joe scared. Has, all right, I'm scared. Fuck it. We'll hold you down. Don't worry. Yeah, it's cool. Yo, you know why Joe don't be scared? I be home. <laughs> That's because you pussy. Maybe. And comfortable. <laughs> hey, by the way. <laughs> That's important. I, w- I want to make you it be clear. Pussy and I am pussy as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I be pussy, pussy and <laughs> barefoot, <laughs> super comfy. Yeah. Binging something. Way, I want to let, you guys, know. Like, I let yeah. you guys know. Hey. Being pussy is the most peaceful life. Yo, ever. but don't end it at you pussy. I'm pussy in full. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have all the condiments I need. Oh, yeah. carrot cake snacks. Yeah. Carrot yeah. Cake. My kids. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> Yo, pussy don't sound so bad. No, it's really not a bad lifestyle. I'm telling you. Holy you can still shit. get pussy being pussy. All that's going to happen is one of you niggas going to say, Joe is pussy. <laughs> All right. Damn, that, damn that, there goes my day. Yeah, yeah that, that does nothing for me. All right, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Uh, new music. New Blue music. face. Tigris. 
Uh, John Legend put out an album. He did. He did. I listened to it. I enjoyed it. I didn't listen I to it. It was good. Yeah? Yeah. You know, he's a little adult contemporary, but it, it's good music. Well, he is I mean, John Legend. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Alicia uh, Keys as well. Oh, did she? Mm-hmm. She put out a song, I think. I don't know if it's a whole project. Yeah. Oh, they, Wait, they, are we going to miss yeah. the battle because Maul was late? Probably. Yeah. Damn it, Maul. Sky Zoo put out a whole album. <laughs> he did. Uh, dedicated. Wait, is, is that where we went? <laughs> y'all, ste- music. y'all stepped on my joke for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm setting up. I'm done. To the sky? <laughs> hey, hey, take my, man, give me a little water or something. <laughs> Give me something nice to sip on, man. A little water or something. To everyone that put in uh, an immense amount of work for their albums, please do not let my friends uh, ruin your day with yeah. their commentary. Phenomenal albums. You deserve Congratulations. all the praise that you get for your albums. I told Joe that I could pander better than anybody, and here I am. I didn't hear most of these albums, but I'll give it uh, Marlon no, Craft dropped an album uh, this week. Sky too. Zoo's joint is uh, around Father's Day, uh, dedicated to his father, records about his father, and... Uh, the story okay. of not having a father that abandoned you. It's it it's a dope project. Um Ch- Chantel May and West Side Gun put out a record that I really enjoy. I hear that. Um I know I, I heard Maul on the ad libs, it's called uh Until I Say So. <laughs> I heard Maul giving him some some boom 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 in the back. I, I wasn't on the ad libs word. Oh, was Maul doing the boom 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 this whole time? No, that's not me doing the oh, boom boom. Oh shit, I didn't peep it. Because you got into your soprano you're a tenor usually. I'm not doing the that's boom boom. That's like booms. more of a soprano. Yeah, I'm not doing the boom booms. Yeah. I well, they added got, some reverb to you it. You got range, man. Congratulations. <laughs> did we say uh, Anderson Packs? We did. We did. We talked about that. Uh, Five Year Old Young M.A. put out a single. You like it? Mm. Should ask him, my brother. <laughs> I can't well, say Five Year? <laughs> Never mind. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait up. Uh, wait up. Uh, who? Say Nin- her name. 91. 91. <laughs> 40. Say her name. 91. No. 40. Wait a second. Uh, there's some shit I will just not stand for, buddy. <laughs> who is she? <laughs> who did it to me? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to get jumped this weekend. <laughs> I'm telling you. Nigga, live up the street. <laughs> <laughs> Young and May is all our Eskimo brothers. <laughs> oh, Young and May, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Ninety two eleven. <laughs> Add that. <laughs> Young, like May, Young and May is gonna shoot one of us. I like not me. Friend. I pieced it up with Young and May. <laughs> you, you had tension. I don't know, but I pieced it up. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I pieced it up to be you certain. You let her know where you stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now nah, I fuck with you. What's the name of your dildo and shit? <laughs> 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 she got a dildo line. You got to act like you support her on shit. It's crazy. What's I just the name of your dildo. <laughs> dildo I'm gonna ask shit. somebody what's the name of their dildo. I've been getting an ass play lately too. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what <the laughs> Holy shit! Y'all We've are gone sick. Off the fucking rails. Yo. <laughs> no, because I said no, 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 no. I see when you like you trying to get the thoughts. No, no, I have my thought. Okay, and let me just announce it to y'all. Okay, I'm gonna be super pissed if one of y'all is gay, but y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What? And y'all keep trying to hide behind these Joe Man. is gay jokes. Wait, I, I better not catch here, none man. of you niggas with Devin. <laughs> Devin, What's that? you sound like that being a nigga name you refer. Man, you know, me see, and Dev. See, see, see. <laughs> he, first of all, first of all, he's a good listener. See. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, right, man, uh, come on. Maul, Maul, put Cape your cape Town, on. Cape Town, Cape Town, Maul. Cape Town, Cape Town. Tighten up the cape. Oh, and pause all of that uncomfortable shit Rory made us say. Oh, <laughs> Rory getting, made us say. That's all getting edited yeah. out anyways. Not all a right, chance. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not over my dead body. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, man! Okay, come on. What's he? What's he? Group? We are not going back to that. We are not going back to that. That's not happening. All right. Good luck trying to edit this. PNT. Mall. Holy Tie shit. the cape. Double knot. Hey, timestamp that shit. <laughs> the double knot. No, the stuff that needs to come out of there. Now, who wants to introduce whatever PNT right. did? We cooking with oil now. <laughs> Yeah, what did PND do? What happened? I, I was crying. Man. Can't cancel us with 20 episodes left, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> cancel ourselves. It's over. 
shit. I'll take these 20 and go. It's the last season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. What happened? What PND did? All right. Maul's man. I hope the cape, cape is good. Cape is good. Looks good. Let's go. It's tight. Pause. Yes. You. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you. That's what we want to pause after the last <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes yeah, of what right just there. happened? That's All right, the first cool. pause. Oh. Got you. Party Next Door um, tweeted in response to, I want to say snubs for award shows. Am I correct? Yeah. Room? All right. Cool. He tweeted. Yo, I got to interrupt you. Who decides when it's a snub? <laughs> Party. All right. Oh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you know when it's a party snub. Party snub police? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I'm shutting up for the rest of the party. We got to ask party from now on. I'm done so feel snub. I'm finished. I actually can't believe we never got a Joe <sighs> Snub Award Snub Gun Double Entendre before. Because that seems like your lane. Oh, I thought you was going somewhere different with that take. See? You had a... thought you were going to say... You had I'm, more bars. <laughs> thought you were about to say you was mad that we never got a Joe rant about... Being mad about not getting awards, I was like, "Oh, uh, I knew I should. <laughs> no, no, no. I knew I shouldn't have won anything. Yeah. <laughs> I kept my mouth closed when the nominees were announced. No, that five seven minutes fired. guitar solos. <laughs> well, they told me I wouldn't win that, Rory. And, what, and look what happened. Q Janae triggered. <laughs> <laughs> so party got snubbed and then tweeted, "Imagine me making and inspiring the greatest R and B records of our time." Basically saying I'm the greatest R and B artist of our generation and the greatest writer. That's a fact. Maul, it's your time. Yeah. Prove it. You know, um I gotta go a party on this one, man. Do you wanna read Wait, his we following didn't read tweet? What? Oh, you, you want to read it? Okay, I'll read it. When did black entertainment television get so complex and Bars. forget party mm. next door is the R&B artist of our generation? Is it because I don't want to be friends? Is it because I put value in the art instead of people? Mm. Is it because it's not the popular opinion? I am BET. I am complex. Mm. Now, you know. There's Joe in it, too. It's so disrespectful. Name the songs better than the news. I gave people their biggest hits. <clears throat> well, I, I'm not no. going to say you didn't give I anyone hits. I can name some records better than the news. You could? And I like it. Try it. No, nah, I can't. I'm sorry. Why you look so concerned? <laughs> this was the song he mentioned? <laughs> yeah. That was my to name, issue. To name a song that's better than? Yeah. Name a song. If, if name I'm... A song. If I'm I, can, name, I can name... name, name <laughs> I can name 20 party records that are better than the news. <laughs> and I like the news. Well, the thing about that tweet, I gave people Dolly the Dolly Parton, hits. 9 to 5. <laughs> Terrence Trent Darby, Wishing Well. You, uh, you're naming uh, other generations. Where, where, where would you you're like, naming some singers. You're naming other like generations. Oh, tapping in. Uh, tap in. I think he's talking oh, wait, about no. as of. <laughs> <laughs> we got to pause. Uh, come on, then name some more uh, songs. Yeah. No, I think he was talking come about current. Wham. Uh, no, no. <laughs> current the Christmas art. Wham song. Okay, classic. T- all right, current. Tanaje, whatever she put out. <laughs> he gave people their biggest hits. That is true. He didn't give Tanaje one yet, right? No, not yet. What about Ed Sheeran? Not yet. He's getting there. Okay. What about Rory? He ain't give you one yet? No, I ain't get a hit. You need, I can name, you need a news. I can literally name 15 Party Next Door records that are better than the news. You need a news. I understand what he was saying, but Do you it's... Know what I just gifts. 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 That's what he was saying. He gave out records. Gifts. In the Mozzie. Just when you thought it was too this short. This is Mozzie. Yes. Music Shout out to Mozzie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where you want to go, Maul? Oh, you home. <laughs> tap in. Let me tap in. Mm. Young Maul, high fashion. Mm. Left the game for a while, but I'm back in. Mm. Guess love brought me home like Tony. Come Tony, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Tony, no. Don't touch me. Tony. Don't touch me. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> take two, take two. Oh, y'all want me to rewind? <laughs> Bring it back? 
<laughs> nobody <laughs> nobody, nobody fucking, wants you to rewind, man. Fucking battle rappers kill me with that shit. Is Sweetie the greatest rapper to ever of live? Of all time. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. tell the truth. Jay-Z, Rakim, I, Sweetie. I didn't know this even need to be a conversation. I guess we could... Yeah, Rakim should be before Sweetie. Yeah. But, all right. But tell, after tell me, that... Tell me why, though. Have you seen the video? I think Sweetie's above Rakim. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Have you seen the glittery basketball? Yeah, yeah. And the glittery tongue. That's that, very That important. wasn't CGI. Nah, that's probably real. Tap in. Come on, tap in more. I, I don't want to just, just tap in. Tap in. Tap in. Show so loud, club packed in. Uh. Oh, come on, more. Hey. Yeah, if none of y'all Why participate. Why you play the real record? Because we're freestyling. Yo, give, give Rory some Rory and the Mozzie with the Mozzie and the. Uh. I was just doing the drop. It was just a drop. Don't try to make your <laughs> shit sound cooler, man. <laughs> it was a drop. I put the drop I'm in. I'm not giving you the mozzie bars now. <laughs> I co- wait, I, I copped the, the mozzie and get no bars? That's what I copped it for. Yeah, man, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Think I pulled up with an unwashed car for this? <laughs> Hold on, man. No. no, you're right. Let me give it to him. Young Raw copped the Mozzie, mm. hit the dealership feeling copy, mm. uh, and I know where the ops be. Mm. <laughs> who the fuck will stop me? Mm. Mm. <laughs> who? No, no I, you really I, get into it. Only party next door. I can't door. think of it. Yeah. Only party think next door. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Young, uh, yes, young Rory, new Sam Smith, uh, and you know that I'm the man that kiss, uh, and I don't give a damn as if, uh, as if, <laughs> man, Rory being a new Sam Smith is fucking hilarious, uh, 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 yes. Roar, Neil Diamond, album ain't even drop. I'm still diamond, oh. still rhyming. She still got a hymn. Oh. <laughs> this is not the climate. This is not the climate. <laughs> she still got a hymen. This is not the climate. <laughs> Yo, that's why you got to write your own verse. <laughs> <laughs> she still got a hymen. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> You have to write your own verse. <laughs> I mean, that's how that's donation. How, Yo, man, you gotta fucking nah, stop, man. Nah, he gotta write it. Take she the pen. She still got her hymen. Now take the pen. What type of fucking bar is that? I do not want that. Take pen. the pen. Oh, no. Give me a new pen. pen. I want yeah. a new pen. Go oh. ahead, get a pen she out the drawer. She still got man. her hymen. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sick fucking bar, man. Oh man, oh. I like this sweetie song. I don't care if y'all judge me. I like sweetie, and me I too. like sweetie, and so yeah. does Parks and Rory. Yeah. She's one of the best. <laughs> ever. There'll be no debate here, guys. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Put that Wale EP. That's the one. <laughs> we can't debate that. We have Drugs to debate position. That. But sweetie, though. Yeah. <laughs> Wale don't look like sweetie. That's a fact. <laughs> what the fuck Not are you talking all. about? <laughs> Holy shit! Look at sweetie. I've been looking. Be respectful. I said I've been looking. That's all I said. She is in a committed relationship. I just said I've yeah. been looking. That's all with, I said. With my bro. man's and That's friend him. to the show. Right. Absolutely. He is a friend of the show. Legend. Absolutely. But he's a legend on the low. Ooh, with tap in written right there. Because that's the right name of the song. <laughs> on her shorts. <laughs> <laughs> on her shorts. On her shorts. Where are the shorts? You're creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the shorts? I'm not even doing this with y'all. Oh, shit. I didn't even see the end of the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's when it gets crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so Wale shit, Wale shit was hard, man. Yeah, it was yeah, juxtaposition. It was, was crazy. Nah, it was. I fucked with that. It was. All right, what else Gifts. we got? What else? Rory? Gifts. Rory. Rory. Gifts. Rory. We understand. We got it, brother. More gifts. Now, thank you, Doctor Umar. More. Thank you, bu- buddy. Gifts, buddy. Okay, buddy. We no, understand. I thought it was you know transition. Listen, yeah. is there any more new music we need to talk about? I think we might have got it all. Yeah, I think we got we. Got a lot there. Um, last week, Maul wanted to come in here and give a PowerPoint presentation about the Insecure finale, but I stopped him because I hadn't seen it. Um, Did you see it? I, I've, now I've seen it. What are your thoughts? On the finale? Yeah. Did you follow the season? Yes. Okay. I followed the season. 
I thought I thought the finale was a little lazy. You were not finaled. <laughs> it wasn't what you was looking for. What's is, I never go into a baby insecure. popped up. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on, a pregnancy. How well, better do you end a show? Let's get into it. Well, no, I'm not even mad at that. It's a half hour show. <clears throat> they spent 15 minutes looking for Amanda Seals fucking ass. That's true. Spoiler alert. Well, she's hosting the BT. Awards. I don't care what she's hosting. Nothing was wrong with her. They didn't even. They found her and hugged. That's yeah. true. Fam, I've been watching y'all on a bus stop and all types of shit. I didn't like that. I that's, feel like that's kind of been the tone for this whole season, though. There's been a lot of like wasted space, kind of, and then at the end they insert some shit. That's what I feel like in this season too. I feel like it's definitely at the approach. drop of a dime. A story pops up from yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Hey, oh my God, help me find her. Who? What happened? That's how yeah. we'll get Issa and Molly back together. Like yeah. that. I didn't like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as Lawrence getting old, girl, my beef didn't come in episode ten when Lawrence got somebody. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! If you haven't seen it, it's cut it off. Fast it's forward. Too long. Yeah, Sorry, they man. Seen it, yeah. it just happened. Oh no, it was a week ago. Yeah, it was a week yeah, ago. Last week. Um, spoiler alert! My beef didn't. My issue. My hot take. My opinion didn't come from Lawrence getting somebody else pregnant and coming to bring it to Issa. Issa, you cheated last time. Deal with it. And I feel like a lot of women just view that wrong, rightfully so. Like, I understand why they wouldn't stay if I get that part. Mm -hmm. My issue was in episode nine when we saw the power of the bipolar light skin dude that used to dick you down and how you just can't easily get rid of him. You still gonna come help him move, unpack some boxes, Right, and I just didn't like how she was treating the light skinned bipolar dude when before she told him that she was back fucking with Lawrence. It triggered me. It brought me back to being light, women light skinned bipolar. When, when women try to let you know, <laughs> when women Good you shot, used Roy. to, I heard, I heard, Roy, I heard, Roy. I love you though. I heard, Roy. Um, it brought me back to when women try to let you know that you can't beat anymore, but they're not direct about it, so it's weird, mm-hmm. and that's weird. Yeah. And you're, that's you're what giving she, you're giving me and all that's the what signs she was doing. that we're maybe reconnecting. Yet here I am unloading boxes, <laughs> and yeah. not like metaphorically, like un, you know what I mean. I see what you're saying. Mm. Bars. He was just trying to unload boxes because he wasn't even. He was just being curt. Hey, how's your day going? Listen, I won't be able to talk to you about that anymore. <laughs> Wait, huh, excuse me. <laughs> then I won't. Then I won't be able to help you to move anymore. <laughs> I'm seeing someone now. I just asked you how your day was. Like. <laughs> yes. Like, it just don't have to get awkward like that. That's all. Back to Tiana. Mm. She, tried to, she tried to give us the, nah. the way out here. No, nah, hold on. No, nah, you shouldn't have said that. But if the, if the roles w- were reversed, how would y'all react to that? If a woman was having, if a woman, yeah, like if if a woman was a, having if a baby? You got back with your, your old girlfriend and y'all was trying to work on a new chapter together and, and she build was something pregnant? else. And she said, listen, I just found out from my last... Dude, I was saying that I'm pregnant. Like, how would y'all react to that? Oh, no. <laughs> That's the same way I react when they get up and go to work in the morning. Yo, you got to work. I'm going to miss you, man. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you sure you can't call out? It's no way. Yeah. <laughs> and then they leave. <laughs> define call out in that situation. <laughs> no, you define it, Rory. It's Juneteenth. We don't have to, we don't have to define anything. <laughs> That's a fact, Maul. My apologies, yeah. bro. I didn't even I didn't even realize that. Get to get our shit off. All right, now. so if she were to call out in a pregnancy, depending on which state it would be. Yeah, no. Get and some, who was in office at the time? I ain't about to be mad because you <laughs> went and got some other responsibilities. Go handle your shit. Be a woman. Stand up. You're still gonna date her? You brought life in the world. You're still gonna date her? Yes. I like women with kids. Me too, actually. Go yeah. have some. <laughs> that would be like it'd be intense though. That All right, but, but during situation. the pregnancy, why is is Duke cool? He all right? That's like, a very good question. What's home? What's, what's, very important? Well, in this question? case, what's, you know what's him. up with homie? You know him. In this case, you would know him because that's what Issa knows. Condola. No, you got a kid. So you're, you're gonna beat when she's pregnant with another. Deuce? By your man's? Well, that's different because they friends. Yeah, yeah I don't they know, like man. associates. This is weird to me. Yeah, yeah you so can, that's what I'm saying. Would you don't come to my house and tell me you're pregnant by my friend. Uh, not really friend, but she she associate. Don't come to my Issa, house and Issa, tell me that Issa you're Issa pregnant by somebody I've seen. A, a yeah, coworker <laughs> that you've even seen. Yeah. Someone I know exists. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that what you come into my residence to say? Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow. Didn't realize you were raised that way. Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> but I think it's a plot twist. I don't think I don't think Condola oh, is really plot pregnant. Twist, right? I don't think she's really pregnant. 
Mm. Condola would never. I don't think she's really pregnant. She plans you think block she's parties. Like Shamale, Malay, Malay? Yeah, I think I think this is you know she she recognized that Lawrence was obviously you know having feelings for. Do you text Issa? Do I text her? Yeah. No. Okay. Just make sure you're not spoiling something no, for no, the future. No, 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 no. I just you could just just the delivery. She was kind of smirking, a little half smile when she was talking. It was just like a, it was just funny. Let me say that uh, the way they edited that part in this show, like. Just having all of them have the conversation, but in different places, that was hard. Yeah. That was hard. They smoked that. And in a moment of transparency, I'll share, even though I'll get killed. But I'm sure I've already said something to get me killed by a black woman in the show. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just continue. I do feel a way <laughs> at how some women receive break babies. Tell what us you more. Mean? Yeah, break babies ex- meaning you broke up and we have Break a baby. baby meaning we separated. I had sex like you knew I would. I mean, you didn't think I was... As, as humans do. You didn't think I was keeping it tight, did you? <laughs> I had sex. This happened. I didn't... Pl- I, didn't, I, didn't I, I didn't. had a really nasty I, joke. I, I didn't plan... Yeah, yeah, I didn't too. plan yeah. on this happening. Oh, look, white brotherhood. <laughs> oh, oh, look, fucking white... On, on, white on today of all days. So fuck up. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, we didn't plan on having this child... You knew that, but I'm a stand-up dude, and that's a great quality about me. I'm not going to abandon a kid that we brought in this world that has nothing to do with nothing. Some women are real evil about that, real evil about you had a baby, or you're going to be there. You're going to be there for the baby. That means you're going to be there for her, and like their priorities be on everything but the kid. I understand that because they're emotionally invested and they personalize the situation. But for a man that really just is all about the kid and the best interest of the kid. Yeah, you could feel a way about it. You could. I could see it. Yeah, I could definitely see it. I've never been in that position personally, but like I felt bad. I felt bad for Lawrence watching him. No doubt, me too. Like he didn't ask for that. He's being honest. He's telling you. He's trying to communicate. He's trying to be expressive. And you shitting on him and you saying, "Oh, this is too much. Too much. You've been chasing me around town for a month." Yeah, but now it's too much. Yeah, because she was like, she. That's when I was watching it I felt like I didn't understand why she was mad don't tell Lawrence. black people to be mad oh. no 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 I said I, I didn't understand why she was mad but then it's more it's not me after speaking to women they was like well she she wasn't mad at Lawrence she was mad at the situation and it was like damn we finally feel like we had another opportunity to move on and build and then here comes this news move on and build Fam, yeah cause she was I, talking about moving to the bay she was considering moving to the bay with him for his new job no he's the moving to Charlotte no, I thought it was the Bay. No, I think it's the Bay. I think the Bay? It was, I thought yeah. it was Charlotte's Charlotte. also beautiful. So. No, I think it was the Bay. It was the it Bay. It was the Bay, right? It was the Bay. Yeah, because she because he was like, yo, you would come, yeah, you moved to the but, Bay. But let's like, highlight yeah. that. Let's stop. Let's highlight that. So obviously, no, Issa no, 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 was no. locked in. No, 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 no. Pause. I was getting a new job in the Bay. I got accepted. Mm-hmm. I didn't really equate you in this plan. And here you come. You've been chasing me around for a month. And now when I share the good news with you, now you talk about how you might be willing to move to the Bay? But he was cool with Let's that. Let's have this talk. Now, I don't know that he was cool with no, that. No, he was. He said he was like, like you would be willing to do that? And yeah. she was like, well, yeah. You got and he was that. like, what about your friends? You have to do that. Yeah, but no, he genuinely seemed like he didn't expect her to be willing to even think like that. Like, he seemed shocked that she was like. Let me rewind a little bit more uh, uh, for you. And I do think Insecure has mad topics that us men should discuss. For sure. That's a fact. How do you, how do you feel about, about uh, going back to the woman that cheated on you? Oof, that's tough for me. Cause I can't. They spend un- some time though. I can't unsee that. I can't un like I I know that that was there. So it's like that's forever in in your head. Like when she got to go away for work, when she got to do this, it's just like the trust has been compromised already. And once trust is compromised, and once loyalty is compromised, it's hard to just totally forget about that and move forward. It's yeah. really hard. That's like a super hard thing. To just be like, oh, this person wasn't loyal to me. This person cheated on me. This person lied to me. Lied to me. Manipulated my thoughts. That's a lot to move past. That's a lot. And I understand love, and you know, you really love hard, and you want to be with somebody. But you would be yeah. lying if you said that that that's not something that always is in the back of your mind. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Hey, when everybody's hey, spiritual, so it's time to forgive. I mean. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's tough. I'm not saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just tough to. It's just tough to. I'm not saying you can't forgive. Nah, forgiveness is easy. You will thing. never forget that. And I think the fact that you never forget that, that affects new things in a relationship. The only reason why I could see 
him in this scenario getting past it is his life is mad different. Like if I was working at Best Buy mm-hmm. and I was like sitting on the couch all day mm-hmm. and she did that and now I'm popping and got shit going on for me, I would I probably I think I'd be able to move past it. So it's fam, okay it's fam. okay for her to fuck somebody else because that. you don't fam, make enough money. Out. Look at how she answered the door. She got biker shorts on her t shirt. <laughs> biker shorts. <laughs> yeah, it's the biker shorts. It's not boy right. shorts. If you, Joe, if would you, you be able to move past? If you want your leaving me to be <laughs> impactful. You can't wear that. I would never say that move. Oh. Come I on, was just asking. Don't do that. I would never do that. But can you move past uh, a cheating girlfriend? Yeah, we've talked about that before. Well, yeah. I don't care about that shit. Cheat. But why don't you care? <laughs> but why, I appreciate the honesty. But why don't you care? So why don't you care about that, though? Is this the pod for this? <laughs> I mean, here we are. Yeah. Uh, We're here. Why don't I care about it? Yeah. Why doesn't that affect you to, or affect your decision making as far as being together? I don't think that cheating is irreconcilable. Depending on the circumstances. So do you think somebody cheats once, that, like, they're capable of never cheating again? Yes. Or do you sure. Think, or yeah. do you think cheating yeah. is a I recurrent that- thing? Is that part of someone's? Uh, I no, think che- I, I think cheating is is I, situation based. Who ever said once a cheater always a cheater is an idiot? Yeah, you don't. I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I do believe in rehabilitation. I do believe in caught uh, in the moment, being open. Yeah, I believe in all of that. Yeah. I, I, shit can happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that'd be my biggest question when it comes to like when I'm talking to like uh, when I'm talking to women about relationships. Like if you're in a le- relationship that you plan on being sustainable. You plan on it being long term. That means you're invested. That means that you're willing to endure. Mm. So what are you willing to endure? Because a lot of women, in my experience today, they just run around beefing about everything. Just run around beefing about a bunch of shit. You want to be treated like a queen, but you're not willing to endure much. So as a black man, it's like, all right, well, what can we go through here? What, what isn't irreconcilable? If I flirt with a girl, you you out. If I fucking uh, give my number out, you don't understand shit. You don't understand caught up in the moment. You don't understand, hey, that was my friend. You don't understand anything. So I don't subscribe to that because I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want somebody to view me uh, in totality as they viewed me at my lowest. Or, or I wouldn't want to be judged by my mistakes. And I've cheated. That's right. how I know that I, I'm, I'm not a cheater today. I don't enjoy cheating Today, that's not pandering. That's I don't have the energy to cheat. Ooh. I can't remember the lies. I can't keep up with it. It's, it's hard enough for me to make one woman happy today. I'm not beat for making two of them happy, and I'm not beat for none of the little Instagram mixy bitch games that women play with each other that they use men for. So I stay out of that. <laughs> Smart, but I would, I would, uh, yeah, depending on the cir- circumstance and the situation. Yeah, like I said, in his situation, he was. Going I don't blame him for that. Yeah, the same the same way he ended up getting shorty pregnant is the same way that Issa worked her way back into the picture. Come, Issa, Issa gave that box to some questionable niggas. So, like, it's some questionable <laughs> niggas that hit. That would have been my thing. Like you gave homie the box. More, you can't tell women who's questionable. Well, we, we can, mm. but we can talk about it. We can talk about some guys you slept with. Like uh, TSA is a good job. But what about homie from the building though downstairs? See, I just like to throw him on the y'all. I forgot she was letting him hit. I mean, which dude? The dude from the, the one, building, yeah. the little short, big head dude. I think that was her weed man. Or something I was like about that. to ask, did he have the weed? He had the weed, yeah. Well, you don't think the weed dude hit your girl or, her, or one pray, of your girl's friends? I would pray. That, first of all, my girl shouldn't even know a weed guy. First of all, let me get the weed. You got your Wait. girl fucked up. No, no, no. Let Wait, me. What? I got the weed. You don't need to hit no, no man phone to my. So you don't think she's weed. ever knew a weed guy prior to meeting? I said me. I would hope. And pray that my woman, but she didn't not. know you That's her whole you life. I, I can see why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use my prayers for shit like that. I, I see why Maul is single. He want his girlfriend to cop from him. <laughs> no, no, no. You, gotta, you don't got to oh, get it from me. Oh, from the, from the day you started oh, smoking weed, I got it. Hey, it's, hey, it's in the crib. I got it. Like, fucking up the bottom line. You want here. Some smoke. Yeah, hey, we, we can smoke all day, but don't have some guy. I'm in. The I crib can see Maul too. Hey, you got a minute? You got him. Give me. I do a fifty-five at eight. If you know that I got weed, because you've seen the closet, yeah. why you keep bringing Hector over here and get, exactly. it, get it from him? Exactly. Now, just answer that for me. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Maul is the, I'll wait. Because <laughs> you're weed, cause you're weed trash. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn. Then you got this dude bringing bum weed over here, and you know he looking at your girl like, yo, Maul, she got but that. But you ever think about maybe you're the bum weed guy? Mm. Never. <laughs> 
Maul is the bum we got. That's why he got time to do a podcast. Because <laughs> she wasn't clicking? <laughs> yeah. I'm not the bum we guy. Uh, let's see. What else is going on that's important? Uh, all right. We don't have to discuss this because Marcus Houston told us why he's marrying that young girl. Oh, he huh? did? He said that's not, a, that's not our birth certificate? That's what he said? That's not our ID? He said, hey, you guys, it's not even like that. Oh, uh, that fixes What's it me. like? I don't know, but... Not that. No, it's not like... Now, he gave a long speech that didn't really clear too much up. (laughs) (laughs) I think he said age ain't nothing but a number. Because that's the thing. Whatever your sickness is, I'm not talking about Marcus Houston. You are. But whatever your sickness is, like, you sick. (laughs) You are. You You are specifically. That's that's where we are. (laughs) Like, you sick, so you don't have a clue, so you're just explaining some nasty shit. Nah, y'all. It's perfectly fine. She was 17 when we met. I just don't understand what, what you would even I'd be like able to I'd like to hear the next to. sentence. Yeah, why why would, would you, you want to hang out with a teenager? Nigga, go read it. I don't fucking know. <laughs> why would you even... Don't have me read the shit. Listen, if they in love, they in love. I'm minding my business. Every time I talk about somebody's relationship, I get in rap beef, and I don't want it. Okay. No, we just have questions. That's all. It's not... It's not I just don't thing. know what you would... Hang, what, would, what, would you, what do you do? What's with? your name? My name, Nick. <laughs> okay. That's who you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Marcus Houston, man. He, he looks... In love That's a no, nasty doesn't. mustache No he does not That girl ain't never fell down And got a cut <laughs> Anyways I don't even know what that means But Okay <laughs> Or a job bro. That's misogynistic I met Maya in 2018 Through a mutual friend Never before then Did I even know she existed That's usually How what you meet people do with You don't age? know that they existed Please let's you. talk about something else Please Okay no, I was interested in the caption. Yeah, I'm curious. Go ahead, Where's he taking this? I'm just trying to understand. With which... all this Hopefully going on, all right, fine, since y'all want to stay here and not tell anybody anything. With all this going on in the world, my love life shouldn't be a topic. Oh, the end of that one. <laughs> oh, he thought that was... Anyway, a Wale. <laughs> Wale put out some no, really he said, inspirational no, he party said, tunes. But since it is, let me just give y'all the facts so you don't have to allegedly believe or create rumors. After reading that blog that was published about my fiance and I, y'all like Styles I, and Kiss, <laughs> <laughs> Rory. It's Juneteenth, Rory. I felt, I'm sensitive. Yo, I'm emotional. One of these, and I'm telling you, tell you man, it's gonna be the day. To the moon. Yeah. <laughs> to uh, the moon. <laughs> yeah, Alice. <laughs> I felt with this situation, I needed to speak because this is not music or television. This is my family, my future wife, and my life. This is his motherfucking life. <laughs> his life. What were y'all thinking? By the I, way, I met my. I, I like that song. Me too. <laughs> me too. It worked really good in church. I met I my really in 2018 church. through a mutual friend. <laughs> oh, all right. Yo, it's I'm cleared up. It's cleared up now. <laughs> oh, duh. How did we not Why did he say that from the beginning? Through a mutual 19 year old. <laughs> Funny shit is he met mutual friend on like a social media like yeah, we Yo the same person. <laughs> she was on <laughs> she was on the explore page. Wait, uh, wait, 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 mutual friend. Oh shit, it gets a little funnier. I, I'm not reading no more. I wanted Rory to read it, but he's, Ma, go she's being quiet. Oh, no, so funny. no, no. no. <laughs> wait, where, uh, where were you at? In the 2018 sentence? through a mutual friend. Uh, Never before then, then did I even know. Come on, let's do it together. I'm, I'm, she, I'm she. I'm Never before. <laughs> Man. We not doing that. What note do you want me at? Yeah, you're right. You're the tenor. <laughs> Parks. <laughs> Never before then did I even know she existed. Well, how would you know that <laughs> if you didn't meet her, Marcus? That's yes, what I just had, had to ask. <laughs> Guilty ass nigga. The fact that she was listed on one of our films was a misprint. Or someone being messy. Yeah, because they had her listed on one of Chris Stokes' films in 2015 when she was like 15 or 16 or some shit. So that was a misprint. That's a, come on. No. Come on, you guys. Uh, uh, misprint. Uh, anyone, anyone can post IMDb. True. And there's no way someone that young could even work on a film set in the position of art director because that position requires years of experience. Marcus. Ever. So does marriage. But... That's neither here nor there. You know what doesn't require years of experience, Marcus? Donations. Pizza game. Exactly. <laughs> That doesn't require years of experience. 
Maya is like a daughter to Chris Stokes because we are all like a fan. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, no, nah, that's yeah. getting worse. Never mind. You know what? Now we can stop. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Coach. Worse. Coach. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Coach. Uh, Maya is like a daughter to My Chris hamstring. Stokes because we are all like family. Being a Jehovah's Witness, we all showcase true love like family. That's it. Chris's real daughter, Chrissy Morales, became friends with Maya in 2018 when we all first met Maya at a Jehovah's Witness convention. It was then that Chrissy and Maya became friends. You got Maya a whole little Hobito in there? Maya and I didn't start dating until she was an adult. We fell in love and got engaged in March of 2019. My dad, Michael, loves her, and the people I am closest to all love her as well. Most importantly, we have Jehovah's bless- blessing. There is so much more to be concerned about in the world than creating rumors about me. No one ever gets facts anymore. They just run with stories. But hey, I guess it comes with the territory. So to all the rumors about me, none of it is true. And that's the story. No twists, no turns, no scandals, just true love. There is nothing that can come to the light because there's no darkness in my life. That's a bar. You wanted the truth. I don't have to I don't have to I don't have anything to hide. So if you're waiting for someone else, you will be waiting forever. Please people focus on staying safe through this pandemic and continue fighting for what you believe in as long as it is true justice and the fight is with love, not hate, because we all matter to God. And I put God first in all things. I love all who support me and thank you. I won't let you down. I love y'all. Peace and love. Parks. So, <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> so, so I didn't address that age yet. <laughs> no, just love. <laughs> Listen, man. It's true Y'all love. Still clubbing? There you go. And there you have it. Well, glad he cleared that up. Yeah, he did. <sighs> no, 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 no. You got your cape on? You're not that cool to me. Joe cape that we just... You're not tough to me. You're not Wall the Street. measuring stick of what street niggas listen to. How is that a joke? It's like a triple joke cape. I'm oh, not no, I'm, get I'm into in, it. I'm meant for the next one. I didn't request clubbing that night. You did. <laughs> no, no, wait, there's a topic I have to cape on? Let me get yeah. my shit ready. No, never mind. You don't want to do that. I want to set you up. Oh. Talk about your man, Chris D'Elia, since, we on this, <laughs> since we're in this world right now. I think now. that's your man. Wait, who's that? That's your, that's your man. Your comedian friend. I, I'm not sure who that is. That's the one who raps like Eminem. But explain it for your, for, the, for your audience. You both had beef with Eminem. He raps ne- like Eminem. That's true. I never heard any comedian rap like Eminem. No, we, <laughs> you played it on the... Like, we could rewind the podcast. Way too many napkins. <laughs> You don't want to say it anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's cool. All right. What do you do? Chris D'Elia was accused of uh, being, being his character handsy in and nasty with underage <laughs> women in the DMs of social media. A uh, couple women came he was forward. Handsy in the DMs? He was handsy in the DMs. Okay. He was verbally handsy with women that were underage, allegedly, in the DMs. Uh, more women came out with stories of similar behavior and also said that. They'd come in to fix the AC in his hotel, and he'd whip his dick out and things of that nature. Wait. Uh, he then... Women would come to his hotel to fix the AC? Women can fix ACs more. I'm not saying they can't. Yeah, but... do we have sleepers? <laughs> <laughs> when have you ever needed your AC fixed in a hotel and a woman showed up to fix it? Oh, you can't do yeah. that. Yeah. Women, chick, women can fix ACs. Chick just fix my AC in the hotel. <laughs> You just fixed your assy in the whole time. <laughs> it wasn't an AC, it was an assy. My ass condition. <laughs> she fixed the condition of your ass. It's, co- it's cool down there now? <laughs> All week. <laughs> <laughs> All week. <laughs> uh, well, sounds like, uh, well. What did he do to two girls? Uh, well, no, he was in the DMs with chicks that were super young. Um, that he was hitting on that were still in high school. So he was and apparently then, not, he knew that they were young. Yeah. Who chooses the pictures that they pick for like, these type of things? He kind of always looks like that, though, in okay. fairness. <laughs> look at Maul's. He looks, he look, looks, at, look at Maul's focus. Like, look, he just, he just <laughs> like, looks creepy. That's, that's, that's where we're going not with this. these underage girls. No, I'm just listening. He that played picture. a pedophile oh, yeah. in you. I mean, oh, he has oh, okay. the look. It was the okay. role of a lifetime. Okay, got you. Um, Wait, he was in you? Yeah. Second season, yeah. Yeah, second season. I hated the second season. Okay. Well, he came out and said, yo, I've never met any of those chicks or talked to them. Yeah, but you tried to meet them. 
<laughs> right. You can't say that. Just because you weren't successful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you no, you tried. Yo, let's link. Yo, we never linked. All right, got I ne- it. I never met him. Uh, well, yeah, he said that. He said, I'm, I've been nasty before, but it's always been consensual and of women of age. Uh, and that's where that is at. All right, glad we got to the bottom of that one. Rory's way too excited about this. Yeah, he got to drop. That's his man. That's Yo, when it. black people get reparations, Rory's going to give us the biggest high five. <laughs> uh, you can see it, right? Yeah. He's going to jump. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. <laughs> So no cape from Joe. For Chris DeLella? <laughs> Chris DeLaya? For Chris DeLaitner? Uh, you be at the comedy store? I don't know. For Christian Leitner? No. Christian Leitner. <laughs> I'm not caping for anyone that's trying to link with women under the age of 18. Yeah, no. There's, there's no caping. Uh, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not caping for I'm not caping for the men that's trying to link with the 18 to 23-year-olds either. Yeah. Word. Yeah. All right, give me the uh, rap Ponzi scheme that we didn't get to last episode. Oh, yeah. Joe, break it down. Uh, I don't have none. A uh, few people are hitting me saying that a bunch of credible rappers that we enjoy are taking advantage of the current climate, and they're asking up-and-coming artists if they want to be featured on a mixtape for a flat fee of what, I, what I'm seeing is $500. Allegedly, the participants in this have been uh, artists it- like Fetty Wap. J.D. Kiss. Kiss. Hardest no lady. name. Huh? Benny. Sky Zoo. No name with Sky Zoo or not. In so. <laughs> it me, has been a lot of. Let uh, me lie on some niggas. It has been a lot of artists that we, we, we like, though. Gibbs. Gibbs has not been. So. <laughs> Bow Wow. Uh, so, wait. Is this, is, this the only, is this the only person that this has happened to? Yes. No, I think it's happened to other people. I know other people that. <laughs> There's a mixtape with one record. <laughs> And all the all of them as a feature. <laughs> I'm I'm confused. I don't understand. So there's a company that apparently is linking with rappers to host mixtapes uh, at a fee of five hundred dollars for up and coming. There's guys. a company. I'm, I'm a yes, it's yes. That's what he just so said. So this there's a company that's behind, like saying, Park, "Yo, yeah. Parks LLC." It's not me. <laughs> uh, saying, "Yo, Mall, you want to host this right. mixtape? Right. Post this on your socials. Right. Tell them it's five hundred. Right. They get a shit on the mixtape." So, so where's the scam? It doesn't really seem like a scam. It seems like it's uh, advantage taking taking advantage. All right. Uh, so yeah. I didn't want to be that guy. Once I did my own research, uh-huh. I was trying to figure out what the scam was. So you pay five hundred to get on this mixtape. You get on the mixtape. They all put it on their story one time. There was nothing in the contract that said otherwise. Uh, I think that so. The what issue, is the scam? At least with the people that I've seen talk about it, is the artists are saying, "Yo, let's work." No, it's very the rap version of what? What was the joint uh, y'all was on? Wake up now. I was on so many different joints. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the no, pon- wake up now what was, was the Ponzi shit. scheme yeah, that yeah. you was on? I never was, was on no Ponzi. I didn't do Wake up now. You was definitely on Wake up now. No, I did that not. That was just shit. That wasn't me. <laughs> okay. Well, different, this is like the rap version of Wake up now. Different Joe, Jiff and Joe Budden. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't this Joe Budden. I still don't understand this shit, but whatever. <laughs> it's a, it's, all right, go Pete the mixtape. It seems a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Ask Benny. That's what I was about to say. Do these artists know about this? Like you said, a company is somebody. No, the artists out. are posting like, "Yo, send me links to music." Okay, gotcha. and then the artists respond and they say, "Yo, we should work." And then they say, "All right, what's up?" And then they say, "Yo, you could be on this mixtape for five hundred. And you send the five hundred. Send the five hundred. Send me an MP3, and that's the end of the. Like it's not like a. But it was on a mixtape, right? Yeah, which is why I don't think it's really a scam, but it is. Uh, so why does this gentleman feel like this is a scam? I'm not entirely sure. What we got next on the, on our slate? Uncle Ben and Aunt your Mama have finally realized their racist ways, and they finally. have changed the logo mm. and the mascot. Okay. To what? react. Well, no, I it's, don't know what they've not changed them. it. It's Quaker to. and whatever. Who owns? Uh, Uncle Ben, I'm not sure. But it's Quaker. Quaker, we could assume, was a racist by the little picture these, on the... These companies are just funny. Like, you're now realizing that this you should change this, and this is can be offensive, and this can... It's, it's whatever, man. It's just a bunch of bullshit. 
They said they'd give $2 million or something. Thanks. <laughs> you know how much all, the years, has been all, all the money I've made all, over, all, over all these years, and $2 million is like... Yeah, here. You know what I mean? All right. I don't really eat pancakes like that anyway. Yeah. I tend towards a more organic syrup. Yeah. Well, round of applause. All right. Nah, I don't know if it's a round of applause. Okay. Fuck uh, Quaker Oats. I'm with that. Yeah. And whoever owns Uncle Ben's, I don't know who, who that is, but. Damn, they made Aunt Jamama racist? Well, people, for years, people have felt like that was a racist thing. Apparently, well, it comes from like a minstrel show song. It's like a song that's mm-hmm. called Aunt Jamama. So it's been racist. It started as a racist concept. Yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. These companies know what this is. This is not. Oh, what? Really? Oh, yeah, no, this is a. We didn't know! Yeah, cut it out. Uh, <laughs> cut the shit. Yeah, I should have known that when they was trying to say my aunt was my mama. Y'all got sleepers in your arm? Um? <laughs> got one. No? No. Sleepers! Why sleepers? <laughs> they no damn sleepers. We got fucking culture to state. Oh, all right. Or pod. Hmm. More culture to pod? Let's see, PMD. Yeah, uh, I was hoping we get a, uh, could get a Blood 5 movie review from you. From me? Uh, I watched it twice. Uh, it wasn't for me. All sorry. right. Glad that we got that <laughs> right out of the way. In and out. Stay wasn't tuned. You never know what Maul's movie takes will be. What, what, uh, <laughs> since you're our uh, talent agent slash booking connoisseur. I am. Uh, I saw that Benny tweeted us and yep. said he's trying to come on the show and talk some shit. Yeah, he, he's going to come on soon. Next time. Oh, okay. In, next time he's in New York. So, <laughs> yeah, glad, he didn't have a, glad, glad we cleared that up. He didn't have a specific, <laughs> All right. No, he didn't All have right. a specific say, well, date. Put that in the calendar. <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah, he said. Put, put that telling, on the soon. Yeah. I'm just telling you what he <laughs> said. Like next time he's in the city. Yeah. <laughs> next time he's oh, in New like, York. Like Cash Door. <laughs> yo, yo, yo Mole yeah. is the worst booker in the world. <laughs> Listen, oh, really? Man. Next time he's in the city? Next time he's in the city? Wow, man. Nice of him. I'll let you guys know. What does he want to talk about? Okay. Nothing in particular. The mixtape. You just want to come kick it with us. The five hundred dollar mixtape. <laughs> oh no, we definitely got to ask him about that for sure. No, he just want to come out and kick it with us. It was nothing in particular. He said. He said he was just talking shit. Oh, that means oh. It, that means it's resolved. <laughs> no, no, no. He said he was just talking shit. But he definitely wants to come out. He said. Let me tell you that. If Benny stuff. come up here, I'm not doing no little cookie cutter interview. I got tough questions. Oh no, he's with that. He just okay. want to come kick it. Okay. He, come, he, want, he, he would whatever. He, uh, he ain't got nothing he can't talk about. All right, just letting it be known. Yeah, so soon, whenever he's back in the city, come through and chop it up with us. All right, cool. Rory, what did you think of The Blood Five? <laughs> I did not see it yet. Got it. Me either. Okay, let me get back to my list. You saw it, Joe? No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're not missing much. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm just saying. I'm going to watch it. I'm sure you will. And even if I think the same thing that you thunk, I'm not going to tweet it so Why? they can attack me like they did you. I'm going to just keep it to myself. Okay, about But that I am going to check out. I am going to check it out. Um, let's see. What else? Y'all want to talk about uh, Colin Kaepernick? Uh, Colin Kaepernick has accepted a position on the board of directors for The Medium. Mm-hmm. Uh, round of applause for Colin Kaepernick. I'm sorry. Let's go. He has a workout with the... Uh... I think they said the Seahawks or something like that. No, that was all. We talked about that. There's no? no oh, nothing's good. Along with being invited to the uh, uh, joint, along with joining the board of directors, uh, he has an interview-based show about social justice debuting and premiering. Pardon me. Indigestion again. Uh, premiering with the medium. They announced it. This is a really big move. Proud of Cap. Long overdue. I think he needed a... A space to be able to talk his own shit, so I'm really happy for him. Uh, in additional media news, uh, it was announced that Kim Kardashian's podcast with Parcast on Spotify was announced. A uh, round of applause for them. Thank you, thank and, you, Maul and Savon. And the DC superheroes apparently are coming. I don't know what that's going to be. Is it going to be a Batman voice for a whole podcast? Because is that what's happening? Apparently. What do you mean the DC D- superheroes? DC like the comic book. Who's doing? Who's, the who's doing that? No you're, doing, you're doing Daredevil yeah, you're, You actually should be Batman Thank you yeah. Parks for that suggestion yeah. You guys weren't the, <laughs> You guys weren't so supportive When I was trying to be Daredevil but. Well no Because Batman's like A, a bigger dick. deal Suck than... my dick <laughs> <That's> <laughs> crazy. Trying to make me feel better uh, uh, Pump it up <laughs> That was That was my impression Of Batman as you 
Jamie Foxx's uh, Mike Tyson. Hey. What you think about it? That's Love been it. out though, right? I think Jamie. No, we've heard about it. For years. We, we've heard about it because Jamie. You said it's not real? No, it's real. Oh. Like it's we heard about movie. it because Jamie Foxx uh, announced it on uh, with Ebro on the morning show. He did a little intro, uh, yeah. impersonation of the intro and the clips. Now we're seeing pictures of Jamie Foxx bulking up to play the role. Well, no, so. there, was, there was also a clip of the actual movie that's been out. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a trailer, but there was a clip of him as Tyson. I think I like think the Tyson, first 30 seconds of I the movie. I think Tyson deserves his own movie. Um, For sure. And I Definitely. think that he deserves an actor of Jamie Foxx's caliber to play him. Yeah. So you won't get any bad news from me. Yeah. Which I, I want to see that. But this sure. is years away, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure with coronavirus, you're not getting that mm. anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, there's clips out already. I don't think it's as far as we think it is. Snapchat continues to be racist. Did you guys hear about that little plug? I haven't been on Snapchat. Snapchat no. exists? I don't know how long. They did a Juneteenth, uh, filter. whatever it's called, filter, where if you smile, it breaks the chains. Uh, Excuse me? That's a fact. That happened. Hmm. Who works at these companies? White people, <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> Holy shit. This is confirmed? That's confirmed. No, you know a, how many people thing. have to approve that? Hmm. <laughs> If you smile, it breaks the chain. Correct. Sick times. I don't even. I don't have anything to say. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Holy shit! That is some of the most offensive shit I have ever seen on social media, at least. <laughs> and that's saying a fucking lot. Wait, go back to their uh, their response. We deeply apologize for the offensive Juneteenth lens. The lens that went live hadn't been approved through our review process. Yes, we are investigating. All right, man. It did. Yo, they it, love, was, it was approved by everybody. They love to investigate. They love investigating <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll investigate this. So this doesn't happen again. Fuck that was approved by everybody. This is like the seventh uh, Snapchat racist thing that's happened, by the way. I'm just curious. I, I stopped you. using Snapchat long ago. Me too. Um, yeah. some of the some of the women and the kids, younger people, still use it for the filters. I'm not supporting Snapchat. I'm not supporting TikTok. Delete all that. I'm shit. not. I'm not doing. I don't want to support Facebook. One day I'll work up the courage to delete Instagram. Same. That is really disturbing. More, more more disturbing that so many white people work at Snapchat and this went through. Like, if you know anything about these companies, it's a few different departments that this stuff has to be ran through. Which is why it has to be full. Which is why that tweet is completely No, this has to be vetted thoroughly. So, Snapchat, Snapchat CEO says in an internal meeting, he doesn't release diversity numbers because it would reinforce the perception that Silicon Valley isn't diverse. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Reread that? This Read that like, out loud again. Is, Snap CEO says in, uh, says in internal meeting, he doesn't release diversity numbers because it would reinforce the perception that Silicon Valley isn't diverse. Got gotcha. you. All right. Which means well, Snapchat I wonder, I wonder what diverse. saying it does. <laughs> 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 I told y'all, man, uh, white people and being tone deaf about being tone deaf. Not all white That's people, of course. That's but a real thing. This here is ridiculous. Lust. I would hope that black people take some form of action against Snapchat. Uh, Delete that shit. Yeah, Delete fuck, that fuck shit. Snapchat. Fuck Snapchat. Listen, the power is in your hands. You don't need it. You can find something else to occupy your time. Uh, I saw somebody uh, during the week posted a video of them being let go from Taco Bell because they couldn't wear their Black Lives Matter mask. Mm -hmm. Fuck Taco they, Bell. They posted uh, a video of the conversation with them and their superior. And it was nasty and racist, and he didn't violate any of the terms that were released about Taco Bell's mask-wearing policies, uh, and they let him go because it said Black Lives Matter, because a lot of people think that Black Lives Matter is a political statement. And I'm Which saying, is insane. It's insane, but it's a cop-out. That's a cop-out mm -hmm. because you know you can hide behind the political shit. Yep, yeah, right. Uh, so it's nasty. Fuck Taco Bell. Fuck Snapchat. Fuck Starbucks still. Fuck Starbucks still. Uh, what Fuck else? Quick roads. Yeah, let's get them all out of here. Yeah, Aunt your mama. It's a shame that in 2020, well, it's not a shame. It's just that at this age, we learn that nothing is different. It's all, it's all the same. It's just our turn. Right. Um, 
I said not too long ago also that the fight for black people would continue on to the workplace. And it seems like we have our first incident of that. Uh, We have an employee from Complex Networks speaking out against Complex Networks about some of their some of their practices and, and their habits and workplace behavior. Okay. Uh, this is a three-page letter that says an open letter to Complex Networks. Okay. It's a long read. I'll read as much of it as I can to give you the gist of it. Uh, and I'll try to put on my best reading voice so I don't drag it out. But it is very important, and it comes as no surprise to me that Complex... For as much as I appreciate my time there, it comes as no surprise to me that they're first up on the uh, first up on the list, or second or third or fourth or fifth. But it doesn't shock me that they're in the list. And this letter goes as: On May 29th, 2020, Complex Networks issued a statement of solidarity with the Black community in wake of protests calling for justice for victims of police brutality. According to the statement, Complex Networks recognizes the responsibility we have to stand for justice. This is completely contradictory to the day-to-day reality of working at the company as a black woman or woman of color. If it wasn't such a slap in the face, I would have laughed out loud when I read it. Ardent devotees of the brand may be placated by a single post, but I urge you to not be fooled by the posturing on social media until true change is enacted from within. I'm calling for the immediate resignation of Jay Salim, uh, EVP, People in, culture, People in Culture, and Armand Walia, Senior Director of Social Media. Complex networks would and could not exist without black art, black consumers, and black labor. But the company itself is not a safe space for its most vulnerable population, black women. I want to address the toxic workplace culture steeped in misogyny, anti-blackness, favoritism, rape culture, and pay inequity across demographic lines that has thrived for far too long. For black employees, the recognition of Juneteenth as a paid holiday is a necessary respite from the pain of the past several weeks. For non-black allies, today should be a moment of education and reflection and a time to ask, how have I benefited from oppression? How have I upheld it? Jay and Armand, it's time for you to take some accountability. I'll read a little more uh, of page one. I won't get into uh, two and three, but you can see where she's going with this. I could not even begin in one letter to attempt to address all of the daily microaggressions complex culture is notorious for. But suffice to say, my tenure was mostly miserable, down to how my team was structured. As the the quote-unquote leader of the social team, Armand Walia was directly responsible for overseeing my success at the company, but treated me as completely negligible unless an opportunity arose to bully me over slack. While we never worked together on anything directly, Armand always found new ways to criticize, undermine, or demean my work, all while taking credit for the achievements the rest of the team accomplished, but contributing nothing of his own. I urge Complex to hire an external consultancy to uh, an external consultancy to conduct a thorough and comprehensive review of the team, interviewing each member and allowing them to speak freely without interference, without Jay Salim's Salim's involvement. She continues on <clears throat> for two more pages. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's been fuck Complex. Yeah, but, but I mean, not because of you. This but. is a. Uh, this sounds like. A lot of other stories yeah, coming not, out of workplaces. This is yeah. not new. This is not. It won't just be complex. Yeah, yeah. no, it won't be. This no. will, this this will most, not be an isolated most incident. Workplaces, workplaces in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but black people um, did, in the workplace. Did this never, woman write this? Yeah, she anonymously. Is uh, she leaked it from her Twitter? I won't share her Twitter. Which is here. fine. Which is fine. I was just yeah. curious if this was um, something writ- written anom- anonymously or not. That's all. No, she. Uh, no, she stood by this, and, and she stood by this. Is still there, and the tweet uh, said, "My silence ends today." And she added, "Complex." Great. No, awesome. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that this came right from her Twitter. Yeah, share your experience. Uh, on page three, do we she, want to say her name? On, on pa- I don't want to do uh, that. I'll protect her. Uh, her anonymity. Case, yeah. I don't want people to. Well, she signed it. 
But level. still, still, I, that's that's I, her right. Know. That's her right. On page three, it says that uh, she had an NDA. It says I'm breaking my NDA here with intention. Although I am speaking for myself in this letter, trust me when I say that I am not alone. As large as the monetary risk is for me, there are others whose risk is even larger. Still, the stakes are high. I received a severance payment of $15,000, $7,988.53 after taxes. Uh After paying the legal fees I accrued during the exit navigation process, which was $2,612.50, I placed the rest of the money in a separate savings account where it's remained ever since because it sickened me to know what it represented, that my silence had been purchased. Oh, boy. But my, that my silence had been bought at the cost of my well-being and that business would go on as usual. It's really disturbing shit. It is. Yeah. I want to thank, I, I thank that woman and shout her out for her courage to speak up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, clearly, she's not there anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she says that's not only her story. I imagine, oh, yeah, I imagine it would not, not be. It's a lot of people's stories at a lot of these companies, unfortunately. And, and listen... Yes, this is the case at a lot of the companies, but this hasn't been black people at these companies. It's not till now. Oh, that- no, I'm talking about black people at these companies, specifically. I think a lot of black people at a lot of major corporations, particularly, go through a lot of the things that she's talking about: pay discrimination, gender discrimination. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's a fact. Yeah, that's absolutely that's a fact. That's statistical fact. I'm saying it's it's more disturbing with complex, but for me personally, pardon to interrupt. Go ahead. But being that they primarily benefit off black culture. It's it's right. pretty disgusting. But that's like most. I, of these, I would say uh, more companies. than primarily. I, I yeah. think that yeah, is, no doubt, that is no almost. It's mostly. But they're like whole ninety nine percent of their like they Taco absolutely. Bell. Yeah, okay, they're disgusting and fuck them. Right. They sell tacos. Mm-hmm. They sell black b- b- culture uh, art. Yeah. Yep. No, I get it. So it so disturbs within, me with, more within selling that. Or you different. should probably employ know. and treat those people correctly. Yes. In who you're selling to. My silence ends today. Please know that this brief account is a mere scratching of the surface. So I welcome any questions and urge those with stories of their own to share them when they're ready. Especially the black women at Complex Networks, uh, especially the black women that Complex Networks has chewed up and spit out with no regard for our dignity and humanity. I see you. I'm here for you. And our voices are stronger together. Mm-hmm. I feel this, young lady. Well, very well said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well said, well written, well spoken. Took a lot of courage. I get it. I get it. I don't think this will be the last story we hear of this sort. Oh no, no, definitely not. not. Yeah, I think I think we should gear up. Well, and it sounds oh, uh, and again, we're not. I don't want to put her identity out there, but looking at her Twitter, there's much more to this story than just this letter here. Much, much more. Awesome. Not awesome that there's more. Yeah. No. Awesome there's, there's, that she's there's, continuing. There's receipts. Not letting there's up. Sharing more her More nasty shit. behavior. It's not just what that letter was. She continues on. That's great news. And I, I do hope that... Uh, I do hope that more women come forward if they're feeling that way. Uh, and I do hope that that nasty, toxic culture up there and many other places can begin to change. Yeah, me too. That's what I hope. Me too. Um, let me get into sleepers. Before I say that, let me say I'm rooting for everybody black. Man, you have my support. I'm rooting for anybody oppressed. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, great pod today. Good pod today. Uh, a couple of quick announcements. Uh, New Jersey Mall's opening up at the end of the month, June 29th. That's a big deal. You know, New Jersey is mall capital of the world. Right. I know right. Jersey people are really excited to get... Hold up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that... <laughs> <laughs> a grown man cry like that. <laughs> like, just like Don't that. Don't All right, man. Your pitch is crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, Parks, do you have a quick auto-tune we can throw on that? <laughs> Uh, I love your mother. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Good pod today, man. Again, rest in peace, Breonna Taylor. Arrest anybody that murders black people, that murders anybody. Arrest those cops. Rest in peace, George Floyd still. 
Rest in peace, Ahmad Arbery. Again, thank you to the essential workers. Shout out to anybody that's just having a hard time being by themselves. Anybody that's struggling with cabin fever. Anybody that's just going through a difficult time but holding it down. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the graduates. This shout year. out to the graduates. Super important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody Absolutely. hit me said, we don't shout out to high school kids. I want to shout out to y'all. Y'all are just important. I believe the f- uh, children are our future. They are. Teach them well and let them lead the way. You freestyled that? Thank you to Generation Z, the millennials, everybody <laughs> that's out there fighting a the good fight. We appreciate you. I want to shout out to the Charleston Nine. Gone but not forgotten. That was some real evil and sick shit that happened. Yeah. All for the cops to take Dylan Roof to Burger King as soon as he prayed with those people and murdered them in cold blood. I have not forgotten about y'all. Thank you for your service. Fuck Dylan Roof. Whatever his fucking name is. Shout out to Jenna Six. Yeah, Rory, join me, man. See? Yo, when me and Rory work in tandem, <laughs> watch out world. Watch out world when me and Rory are in tandem. I want everybody to enjoy their week. And again, I'm, shout- I'm rooting for everybody black. Happy Juneteenth to y'all out there. Thank you to the white people that support us in that mission. Thank you to the white people that educate yourselves. Yes. Bitch, this record don't never end. <laughs> the, the fuck is you talking about? A two minute? No. Nah, this needs to be no. seven minutes. We didn't have to lose each other. I got 10 minutes of that. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Oh, to the fathers out there. To the fathers out yes. there. To the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to y'all, man. A lot of y'all may not feel like it's about y'all. I'm here to tell y'all that it is. You are important. You are loved. You are needed. Um, the father's taking care of their kids. One thousand, one thousand mm-hmm. percent. Uh, y'all, I'm not fuck y'all. That's, I mean, that's what we talk. Uh, oh, I don't yeah. even call fathers, fathers the niggas yeah. that don't. Yeah. If you just drop sperm somewhere, I'm not talking to you right now. Last but certainly not least, and will never be least. Shout out to the black women. Uh, thank you for not only telling us your opinion, but how you feel. Thank you for telling us how to better take care of you, how to better pay attention to you. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm full of so much gratitude right now, and I want that to always be be seen in my words and my actions. Thank you all for listening. I enjoyed this. That's all I got. If you all have any last words, please feel free to share. Thank you all. Thank God for getting us here. Thank God for getting my yeah. coworkers here. Yeah. Uh, thank God. God willing, we'll be here the next time. Hopefully, we all get through the weekend. Hopefully, everybody has a really great, safe, and sound weekend out there. Yeah. Wear Gentlemen. a mask, wash your hands, be safe. Protect and love all black women. Yes, sir. Facts. Big facts. Yes, and sir. Listen, and listen to them. Yes, and sir. To yeah, them. Maul. That part. I listen to black women. I got my ass beat growing up for not listening to black women. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I listen. Um, again, COVID is a real thing. I know everything is opening up out there. I don't want us to get more laxed than we need to be. I don't want y'all to treat this thing like it's a casual thing. It is still here in spite of what the government tells you because they need the economy to get up and running. Please use your brain, your mind, and your heart. The Joe Budden Podcast loves you guys. We have 25 more episodes of love, 24 more episodes of love, something like that. And I'm out, man.